Okay. Well, we're here. This is the final. And uh, it was amazing semifinals, like you just said yesterday, Dave. Uh, awesome series. If people didn't see those games, there were some highlights and a half in, the, in that set. But uh, we've got Running in the Blue playing as the Teutons. And then we've got the Portuguese for Yo. I'm excited to see this one, Dave, because we've seen the Portuguese dominate on this map. Yep. But the Teutons definitely bring a, another aspect than the Koreans did yesterday. I saw Viper play with Teutons in that famous game against Tato where Tato was poles. And like I said, he held on for a very long time. And then he just ran out of gold as soon as he got past the wall in the middle. <laughs> so we'll see what, uh, what running can do here. But we... We've already seen the strength of the Portuguese, and Yo showed it yesterday with the Feitorias, with the Oregon Guns, even against that insane whatever it was from Valis on this map. That, that was, was so a crazy cool, game. Yeah. yeah, that was nuts. Well, um, you know, what we saw was defensive towers from the Koreans, and then they struggled a bit to, to find ideas against the Fast Imperial. Uh, Teutons do have very cheap farms. And they also have great monks, and in this case, they also resist conversions. But it's not as if they're going to be making units normally, at least on this map, um, that might be getting converted early. So this might change the approach as a whole for Yo. I mean, I think organ guns and forcing your opponent to try and defend from that is always a good thing, but yep. I guess we'll find out. All right, so I wonder what the, uh, the uptimes are going to be here. I think running, if I... My suspicions are correct. Running will probably be up a vill earlier than Yo, just because his builds on these early, uh, or sorry, nine villager starts is so optimized. So we'll see. That's what we saw a lot of yesterday. Um, I wonder if Yo covered any... Well, I guess his, he had the second semifinal, so maybe he would have learned and used it in his semifinal, but Yo is definitely known for covering and following a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if he's taken Walhalla quite as seriously, it uh, is like forty two hundred dollars. It's got a decent prize pool attached to it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, like definitely. I, like if that was back in the day, this would have been <laughs> this would have been big, big, you know? Yeah. I mean, like, listen, yo through and through money aside is just he wants to compete in any way he can. Like yeah. he's playing in events all the time. Whereas like other people are a little bit more selective with what they try and take seriously. Now, I do think Yo has this extra level that he can rise to. Uh, as they both look mm -hmm. up at the same time. Um, it feels like the more important the stage, the better he performs. But still, like, there's not a tournament he doesn't really play in, dude. <laughs> no, I He's was playing looking, all the time. Uh, I was looking through his A tier, S tier results over the last, like, two years. It's actually crazy. And I think he is... Uh, after Viper, he's won the most S tier events of any player. Now, he that's not saying... As much as you think it's saying, because Viper has literally won almost every single S tier event, but... <laughs> sure, know. sure, sure. Well... It's it's interesting because if you ask a lot of people like what what their top three is or whatever, a lot of people are going to include like Leary Hera, for example. Yeah, Leary Hera aren't even freaking close to Yo's tournament results. No, no, like it's not it's not even close. It, and of course, Viper of course is right above Yo, but uh, it's really just with tournament wins and consistency, it's Viper and then it's Yo. Yeah. Um, and I think I've fallen into that trap as well. You know, looking at someone's talent. Uh, in a ranked game or or what their potential is and not really basing it off of the results because Mr. Yo is always there, man. Well, He's always there. Yo, I think he shaved off a villager off this build because I believe he went up 23 bills yesterday. I could be wrong, but he's up at the same time as running. Both players zero idle TC time and both players going for the fast castle approach. Now, Yo is going to go for the castle and yep. running is going to go probably into monks and, well, I don't know, maybe a, a boom or something behind. I can't see how he's going to break through the walls with just the monks, right? So I don't know if it's going to be aggression and a stable wouldn't make sense if the walls aren't going to be broken. Maybe he's counting on Yo to break through the walls. Yeah, I mean, the good news here for running is that Portuguese are very predictable. So it's just likely going to be working guns. Yeah. Um, I think because the Teuton farms are so cheap and because a castle drop and a monk build from the opponent typically wrecks your eco, I think that he's just going to go monk defense. So he's going to send like eight to gold, it looks like. Could definitely see him adding a second and maybe even a third town center, but I'll have to get monks out. And mm -hmm. he's going to need redemption. So you need monks, you need to spend 460 or whatever gold it is on, on redemption, and you probably need sanctity and need the monks. So you're going to need a lot of gold. Yeah, but once you convert a unit... 
it's going to take them longer to convert it back. True. <laughs> That's true. <not> even... <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I don't think there's a world where Yo would ever go for redemption to convert his own units back. Yeah, yeah. But oh, there running. is a world where Yo might not make a lot of orc guns because of this. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe he just goes, imagine, like, forward castle. You make him think that you're coming through. You put it within range of that scout, and then you just go up to Imp and start adding Fatoria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see it. Yeah. Um, especially because the Teuton farms are cheap, I think you just could just slap a few villagers onto gold and buy it. Um, but worth reminding people, the wall in the middle is a neutral wall mm -hmm. or a Gaia wall. It does not change to any person's color. You cannot see it unless you uh you cannot see it being attacked. You get no attack notifications. You'd have to keep an active scout. So that's what Running's doing right now. You can already tell that he's foreseeing the possibility that his opponent might break through because he's kind of house walling towards that wood line in the north. Oh, yeah, he's getting ready for uh, it. I really like that. Yeah, I mean, that's if you're going to play defensive on this map, I think you have to do that. And there's mm -hmm. the castle right there. And when running runs back across the other way, he's going to see that castle from Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo doesn't care if running sees it. Let's put it right up against the wall. So he kind of knows that his opponent's going to scout it. And he knows that his opponent probably expects this. And running will go double monastery monks. I just question what the next move is going to be. Got a lot of gold in the bank. Yeah, I would like to see it's going to disappear really quickly, <laughs> sadly. But I personally would like to see uh, second town center. Uh, yep. Second town center in the back area next to the wood and the stone. So you can eventually uh, easily go to stone and eventually build up towards a forward castle of your own uh, after some conversions. Ooh, he but might lose obviously his it's... scout. No, the castle's not going to be up in time. Woo? No. Yeah, he sees it, it looks like. So yeah, he'll back away. Uh, good news for him is he, I think he can take that relic too. I does think he'll he have time to snag that relic. Does he get redemption first or does he add another monk? Yeah, redemption's on the way. Okay. That's smart. Redemption sanctity, so... Monks will have more HP, but now they can convert Siege. Obviously, he's still even with Redemption, and I experienced this when we were teamed up in one of our 2v2s the other day. It's like, that's no guarantee <laughs> nope. that you're going to be able to get the conversions because the organ guns, when they get to a mass of like four or five, are going to easily take out a group of monks if you're not paying attention. Yeah, and you're going to need Sanctity too, which he's uh -oh. getting, and then you're going to need a bunch of monks, and uh-oh, the scout is already through here for running, and he actually dropped that relic so he could retreat. I don't know mm -hmm. why, because he's just running back that way. But uh, he did drop it. Going to try and convert this scout right now. He does have Sanctity, but the organs are on the way too. And I think the scout's going to have enough to kill that. Never mind. Yeah, the monk should die though. And now he only has one monk to convert an organ. But if he gets it, then it's one organ versus one organ. So could be okay. This is why you go double monastery. This is why you have 10 on gold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no other way to deal with this. When does he add that? He's adding farms right now, so I assume the TC is coming up soon. Oh, we got him. one. That was a really important conversion there. Yep. Obviously, he'll lose it. And then Yo's just going to try and get the relics here. But yeah, no no second TC, but I he like how many farms it. he has. Running still followed that Oregon gun in towards the castle. He was tracking that monk. He let it follow, kept that conversion going. No way. And he's going to lose scouts another are there monk. Right on time, too. And yo, will will he lose this monk? Yes. Oh my god. That was so good from running. Running's been really patient with how he's handled things so far, and he's actually getting atonement. I don't know if this is necessary here. Uh, that is to convert enemy monks. It's pretty cheap though, isn't it? It's like two hundred fifty gold, but as long as he doesn't need more monk numbers, I think he's going to be fine, and he gets another conversion. He's done so well getting those conversions, and yo. I mean, if I'm running, I will trade a monk for an organ gun because I'm trying to stall out this pressure right here. And a yep. monk is just straight 100 gold. I'm already on gold with a ton of ills, kind of making my way towards that. And I'm buying myself a lot of time. And Yo is going for another castle, the double castle stack here. Look how worried he is. They're like, that's not an exciting castle for me. No. It's still so close to the original castle. It does kind of deny this gold, but... Oh, it's that running, scout just got scout murdered. There. Absolute firing squad over there. I mean, the castle doesn't have fletching, so running might actually move in here to convert the organs. And if he converts three out of the five organs, he could deny this castle. Charging there he goes. Up he on switches the it onto the organ guns. 
They're not going to get him. He gets, He's going to get all these organs, one of them. dude. He's going to get all of them. He oh, gets this two is, of them. This is disgusting. He's going to get three. He's going to get four. He's going to get five. Yo. Bro, this is not the fight that Yo wanted. Oh, God. This is perfect from running. Oh, no. It was so predictable. You just have to go back there, I think. But then you can't get the castle up. And it wasn't an exciting castle. And it certainly wasn't an exciting building process either as it's only at 58.6 percent this is terrible yeah, I guess he for you was committed yeah also look at the resources for running this is amazing macro yep so he's going to be able to go imp he's also now and gone to still go for a castle of his own yeah i think this is over i don't see what yo can do from here the organs have been completely neutralized you can't do anything with your own monks against tutans you That's are just booming. The, dude, it's the worst feeling when you go for a safe castle like that and it still gets denied. Yeah. Because, there, like you said, there was nothing exciting about that. I don't think Yo is excited about that. He just wanted a second castle. And he put it right beside his first and it still gets denied. Now he's coming out with more organs. And, oh man, the monks are still there. Honestly, at this point, I might back up and let Yo finish that castle. <laughs> I mean, realistically, you probably shouldn't, but you think about it, it's just going to be trapped down. Just another target, as we see another monastery then for running. And, you know, running obviously saw the how Portuguese were played. Yep. Saw that people were trying to find a counter to Portuguese with Koreans and realized as running's even going to repair these organs, which is hilarious, that going Tutans and just expecting the organs could work out. It's been really an easy game for running, or at least mm -hmm. he's made it look easy. Here come the villagers, and he bought himself a bunch of stone, and he's going to have enough stone now to place a castle of his own. And yo, as soon as he sees that foundation, I think you just delete your castle foundation and go for a second one somewhere else. But you're still not going to be an imp, so how are you going to defend? You gotta, it's like he wants to try and deny it. Yeah, now yo he knows. knows. Now he's like, <laughs> oh, crap. He might be up to imp, but... Oh my I think God. we might see the GG call, honestly, the second Imp comes in. Because Yo hasn't even clicked yet. Yeah. He sold the farm, dude. He sold everything. He thinks about coming out with the organs, running season the whole way. Perfect scouting from running. Still will make monks. Yo the is monks still selling, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, and he clicks up, and he has less than 100 of every resource in the bank. Oh boy. And he's so at the limit, and he has been in order to execute this strategy. Yeah. That he can't realistically tech switch. Like a lot of people are gonna say, well, why not light calf now? Well, because Eight he food. doesn't have the eco for it. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have the food. What about Fatoria? Well, if he goes for Fatoria, he can't put anything into defense and he probably just dies. And yep. he just GG's. So he just yep. it. Great from running. Yo, I think made the castle. I, I didn't mind the idea of the castle being close. But I think he made a mistake thinking he could get any of those monks there without organs on the other side. And he probably needs to cancel that castle as soon as he uh, sees that level of monks from running. I wonder if, so with this map and not being able to scout what your opponent's doing, I wonder if Yo was just hoping that running was booming and not going for monks. Because to me, monks feels obvious mm. because organ guns is obvious. So... From our perspective, it honestly looked really, really bad for Yo to commit to organs. Now, running played it well, but I guess in a different reality, Yo could have possibly just boomed. Like, imagine the running goes for double boom. monastery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, just like TC's behind. That's what, that's what I was saying. Or make the castle and then up to Imperial Age or something like that. Like, just do yeah. something other than organs. I don't know. Yeah, just, just make one organ gun, leave it in the castle, and then make him mass all these monks for something you're not going to make. I yeah, don't know. And then just... He's investing into like redemption. He's investing into six monks, sanctity, you know? Yeah. I think that Yo just got caught in the trap of doing the same thing that worked every other time. And he didn't really think about branching out at all there. So good start for running. Is that the first time that you've seen Tutans win in this event? Because I haven't, I didn't see Tutans uh, in the finals at all. It's only the second time I've seen them in the event. So okay. <laughs> the sample size, yeah, but yes, technically, the sample size is not very large, though. Oh, yeah, the other one you said Viper was Tutans. That's yeah. It, against Poles or something. Well, that's solid because at least based on some of the other games we've seen, it's not like Tutans was one of those civilizations that people would necessarily jump to get. So Portuguese has been an early pick. You kind of beat Portuguese with 
a counter pick that you wouldn't necessarily want elsewhere. Like, look, Yo's first pick was Portuguese, and it just went down. That's awesome. Down to a clown. All right, so game one was the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, Yo will have bypass, fortified clearing, and then hideout available, which is funny because they're all very... They're all kind of similar to each other. Like, hideout was a start, and then bypass was a variation of hideout. <laughs> and then fortified clearing came a little bit later, but it's similar to bypass, where you can go in the middle and the outside. I guess maybe some of the other maps are too, but still interesting. I think they're going to hideout next. Okay. There it is. Hideout. Uh, Dravidians against Byzantines. Dravidians for running. Against Byzantines. Why? <laughs> is there something that we don't know? Because why are so many people picking the Dravidians? Um, I mean, I guess if you're just going to go into monks or archers or something, it, it's fine. And these maps usually rely on just like a mono unit composition. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe there's something about the Nineville start that makes Dravidians a little bit stronger that we haven't picked up on. But to me, it, it hasn't... I, I don't look at the civilization and necessarily see what you're going to want to do. Like, we saw with Tato, he picked Dravidians against running, actually, in the semifinal, and that also looked a little hopeless. But uh, running in the blue, Dravidians. Yo playing as the Byzantines, a civ that we saw beat running uh, yesterday when he played yep. against Tato. So Byzantines are, are definitely something that he's going to be scared of. Uh, map is hideout, obviously. Palisade walls. I'm sure they're still going to go for Fast Castle, but we'll see in they're the long term quite, what the army comp will be. In terms of hideout, they're actually quite a distance from each other, and there's no thin wood line in between them like there yeah, was. Yeah, like before. That, yep. that was a big factor in the last game. So Yo is going to be over here on the left side, and uh, he's just going to open by pushing gear. It's very easy for him to wall off both sides and secure like a quarter of the map over there in the corner and running. Well, he's got the same story, but we'll see who's going to be the aggressor here. I would suspect it's going to be running. Yeah. And Yo will play the defensive role once again with Byzantines. And if we get late game, Byzantines against Dravidians, I mean, we saw the Woot Steel Halbs yesterday. They were pretty crazy, but they, they still weren't enough. Yeah. I could see some type of... Like, I think going into this, obviously running wouldn't have known what his opponent's civ was going to be for this map. Mm -hmm. I could see him picking this civilization to try and go Monk Siege, like like Pike Monk Siege, because Pikeman's 50% off. You yep. get plus 200 wood when you arrive to every age, which means you can cut corners going to Castle Age because you don't need as many on wood to get the buildings. And then you can afford to make the double Monastery Siege Workshop a bit easier. But Byzantines are highly defensive, right? So I think trying to go siege push against Byzantine town centers or towers or whatever it may be uh, wouldn't be the easiest, at least. Ryan is we'll going see. for a barracks. So he might be going for men-at-arms push here. Ooh, I actually really like that on this map in general. Um, it does, at times, it ranks make the map a little bit stale. <laughs> you know, uh, just man-at-arm tower. But if you feel like you want to gain an advantage and delay someone's FC, I think it's a good play. Yep. And there's almost the only downside is you're to cast lades later, but you always have map control, which is a, an epic upside. All right. So, does right. he know he has no idea where Yo is? So, he might go the wrong direction here. We'll see. Yeah, it does kind of seem like he's heading the wrong direction. Unless he's this could be fast castle, actually. Uh, no, he's making a militia. So. <laughs> Why would he make the <laughs> barracks if it was going to be fast castle? So the thing is, you can normally, if you want to go blacksmith market, now we are talking about standard Dark Age build, uh, builds, not nine on uh, Nineville start, but like you can go three on wood mm -hmm. and because of that plus 200, still make your blacksmith and market. So with our conversations about how running's been creative with his uh, builds and whatnot, I was thinking maybe he could try it. Well, he's going to scout around the south and the south having no enemy will tell him that he needs to go north. And that's exactly where he's sending his militia and his villagers. And he's going to know the general area which Yo's base is. He'll be coming mm -hmm. over here. 
Uh, Yo will have his scout in that area, so he might get a little bit of a heads up. And even getting, you know, 10 seconds warning that something is coming allows your brain to start, like, making contingency plans. So this could be nice for Mr. Yo to track this. Well, also running, because of the distance and because of the lack of scouting, he's left really late here. Yeah, he's more like walking. A lot of players will send their scout right away if they're thinking about doing this to find the opponent so they can judge this properly, but... Yeah, like you said, by the time he makes his first tower, Yo's already going to be in feudal. I don't know if Yo spotted that, though. His scout is idle. Okay, he's going for a barracks there. He did, did run past Did you just hear a noise, them? or was that, was that me, or was that you? What? Did you hear that noise? Huh? Okay, but, uh, keep talking, keep talking. I got to maybe close some tabs here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, did you? Huh? What? <laughs> Do you no, hear that? I think, I think it's, I don't know what's happening. Hold on. I think it's my, oh, it's Google messages or something. Okay, oh, okay. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, the pressure's, I was like, what's going on? Yeah, okay. We're, we're fine. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got archer range here from Yo, and he's classic wall off to the TC. There's no real valuable resources over there. So as long as Yo walls a little bit in front of this TC, which he's doing right now. Running is going to take mm -hmm. a long time to break in here. Yo's gold is safe at the back. Yo's berries are even kind of safe there. And, of course, his wood is going to be perfectly fine in this situation. So I wonder how much damage running can realistically do. Well, he is going to force a tower here. So the boom for Yo is just out of the question now. Yeah. Also, Yo isn't taking his goats because of all of this. So Yo is at 600 food. So actually... Even though this was late, I think this is good because I you have invested like, into the Feudal Age Eco upgrades and Yo will not the be able to get The fact that Yo has four goats left over is actually really good for Yo, though. Yeah, it is, but, food. but he won't be able to go fast castle now, which makes it really awkward. And, and his tower will have more HP in this tower fight. Which is yeah, running's got to really be careful because Yo might consider building some type of like wall around that to yep. trap it. Yeah. Like, I could see him deleting that house and then running in there. Uh, speaking of, running needs to run because his man at arms are dying oh, right now. Oh God, oh no. Uncharacteristically sloppy there with his units. He has gone in with the scouts. So Yo is gonna be a little bit frustrated by that. Yo does he's have the He's doing the same thing with fine. his man at arms. That's so weird. Oh God. Okay, well the scout's in. Uh, Yo's just gonna bring his scout home to kill that though. So, so far so good for Yo, I guess. But I'm really curious. Okay, here's the trap attempt. And running Nice shot it. from running to get yeah, out. Yeah, good job. Immediate response there. He loses the final men at arms, and uh, he's, Yo is going to take down that tower easily without even losing a villager. Yeah, and now the archers have just been waiting for this moment. This is a big problem. Oh, boy. That was so well calculated from Yo. Yep. He was so patient with it. And he's doing the right thing. He's going to let those villagers hide in the tower. He just doesn't want any of these to get away. He's going to have more army eventually. And another tower. Running's going to try running. another tower. I guess this is the only way you can realistically save these vills, right? Without making yeah. more army. Make another tower. Uh, it's still going to be tough, though, because Yo is sending... Yo, the correct response once again, to just send more vills. You just clear yep. up this problem while you can. I mean, it's going to hurt your economy right now, but it's worth it in the it long run. Yeah, it's, it's four villagers killed. Your opponent doesn't have army, and this is not looking very good for running. Uh, the villager in the north should die. The other villagers, even as they run away, even if they don't die, they're completely ineffective for the economy. Uh, the only positive for running at the moment is that he does have horse collar farms. His eco is looking fairly good when it comes to food and arguably better than Yo's, but losing the four villagers is not going to help. Oh, the villager didn't get away. Well, the, the two in running. the south did, though. Ooh. Yeah, the two in the south did. And we'll see, like, I don't know what you do with them, but if you could just escape with them, Yo might just be paranoid the whole time. Yo is trying to track them down there. with the archer, but he doesn't see them. At least he can eliminate where they, they're not, right? Yeah, that's true. So they're not back here, so he can kind of mentally eliminate that. And he realizes they're probably over on the other side. He'll explore even to the edge of the map, which is really great. Really, really nice for Mr. Yo. Like, he's got archers coming from all angles here. I will say, Yo should have killed those vills. I still think he's in a great spot, but his opponent has zero army. 
Those villagers probably should have been tracked. So I but guess good job even, from running to get away. He didn't even have fletching, so it's tough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, like, in theory, what you have to do is you have to assume they're going to run instead of right-clicking them because the archers will stop and slow down. As I think you need to, to send an archer kind of where the house is right now That's and just doing. have him wait there on patrol to cut it off. That's what he's doing, and the stable is coming up from running. Dravidians notorious for their stable units. They do not get knights. <laughs> <laughs> they have the so... worst stable upgrades in the game other than the mesosives that don't even have uh... a stable. Uh, yo? They also have a unique tech, which... Heals think, their well, elephants. What? It heals their... 20 I HP think it's their per stable minute. units, right? No, it's their yeah. elephants, 20 HP per minute. It's not their stable uh, units. I thought, it was, I thought it was all their stable units. Oh, no, no. It might be elephants, and then what it is is they, like, lack... Two or three crucial upgrades. Yeah. No blood their, lines, no husbandry. Units. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that vill does make it interesting because it's going to survive. Uh, the scout edition is going to be quite nice if any monks are going to come out too. And if you look at uh, Yo's perspective, he doesn't know where running is. Now, I'm sure he has a guess, but he doesn't like... He's not applying any pressure at yeah. the moment, so... Well, he saw the vills coming from the north. So yeah. he has to assume that running is like basically right beside him on the other side of that wood line. Yeah, they don't even get elite battle elephant. Yeah, it, I feel like medical corpse is one of the most useless oh, unique yeah. techs. Oh yeah, for sure. It just doesn't really get you excited <laughs> with all the other things that are you, lacking. You heal like one pikeman hit a minute. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so the scout's scouting out to see if maybe there's anything they could pick Ooh, off, but the, the villager's villager. still on the move. He's trying to take the angles. Yo is trying to cut him off, but I think the villager is going to break some ankles here. He's going to make it back to the base. The archers are on the case. Yo can't find him. <laughs> they still can't find it. Quick, make an elephant. <laughs> Save the vill. The scout, just, the scout might actually be able to kill both those archers because they don't have fletching. Well, the Vill will survive. They, have, they, have, they don't have fletching, but they have friends. And as we yeah. know, the most powerful thing in this world is the power of friend. Never mind. Nope. Screw your friendship. Yep. Actually, there's a good chance this villager will get woo wooed, by the way. 14 HP. Oh, he's waiting. Hmm. Look, look at what running's done, though. He has tons of wood, so he's going to go siege defense. Town centers could even afford a monastery. Wow, four TCs in total he's going to have. Damn. And the Dravidians, bill will actually right? make it home. Nice little yeah. extra wood upon reaching the next age. Yo will go 3 TC here. And Yo already has that monastery with a monk on the way. The villager makes it home, like you said. Avoids that wolf strategically. And Yo still doesn't have fletching. And actually, I kind of like it here because... Well, you could have maybe killed that vill or saved a few of those archers against the scouts. You want to put those resources into the eco upgrades that he's getting right yeah. now. And he's getting all the eco upgrades right now. Yeah, like running added siege because he had to respect the fact that there could be upgrades and there could be pressure coming. Mm -hmm. But this is just what happens when you don't have control. So uh, again, like he should be able to take this late, but Yo should be the one that has the advantage right yeah, now. Yeah, with Byzantine, like what did Dravidians do if Yo just gets a couple castles down and has cataphracts in the field? Dude, I have no clue. Like they go. Arbalist, but then Yo just makes Cataphract Skirm? Or it's, I don't know. Even if they go Arbalist, he could just make Skirms in his own Arbs, right? Like, Cataphracts yeah. aren't even needed here. It's Dravidians. Like, I actually do think Dravidians are good. They're like Japanese on water-style maps. So I, I understand picks there. But I don't understand the Dravidian pick at a high level for standard land maps right now. Yeah. It just like I and to be fair, like I would say the exact same for Japanese. That's the comparison I make. Now I think they're a little more awkward than Japanese, but at least they get bombard cannons in late game. And the faster firing skirms with Arbalest and Bombard Cannon can be strong in some situations. Okay, so running we'll has made that siege workshop, but he hasn't done anything with it. Maybe expecting a forward siege push from Yo, which mm -hmm. never materialized. And running has a monk out. And he's still made a few scouts, so he's trying to track the monks from uh, from Yo. His scouts actually got damaged by a spearman at the back there. So Yo will have time to go out there with the monk and grab that relic in the corner. Yo has also mm -hmm. made a camel, and he's kind of protecting his monk with that camel. 
He is housed though, and he's been housed for a while. Okay, yeah, he did a really up. good job earlier. I'm not sure if you caught it, but he ba he killed the scout. You can still see the blue bodies in the left corner. Yeah. It's by the trees. He killed the scout there next to his monk, so that was smart. But yeah, it definitely looks like we're going up towards Imp. I'll be curious to see if Yo wants to push it, though, because you could go forward with the next castle. It's very hard to take out Byzantine castles. Yep. But if he has as much confidence as we do in the Byzantines, maybe he just drops a defensive one and tries to take this very late. Man, these archers have just been lackluster this game for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy, they haven't really done much, have they? Really smart from running to realize he could just use scouts there, honestly. Like, it's not something you see every day, but he realized there were still no upgrades, and as Yo protects his monk in the southern corner on the way the back. Animal. Yeah, and he's grabbing the relic in the north, too. But the scouts are going over there. I feel like just bringing it close to your base is also awesome. Also has a spearman next to the other relic, and he's sending a monk to that one on the right because he doesn't see the other one near the edge of the map, unfortunately for him. But okay. running should get the one on the right side. Yo is setting up a super defensive castle here. He's thinking that running's going to pressure him, and he can just mm -hmm. defend and go into his ideal unit comp. I think Yo has read this game as, you know, I have a better army than you late game. Superior yep. army than you. I probably have a better eco than you because you lost the villagers early. You had that pressure, and I have a good boom. And we're just going to play into the late game, and we'll see what you can do. Yeah. I think... Honestly, like, you don't want this to go to a situation where all the sides matter and it goes very late. So I think you build up towards archer range units like like uh, skirmishers and arbalescent bomber cannon if you're running. And you hope for the best. Because the faster firing skirmisher is actually very strong if your opponent's also going for range units. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to go infantry, most likely. Uh, cataphracts are just going to be too scary in the long run. So we'll see. But a wall for running. So he, he definitely doesn't want to have to deal with any pressure on that side. Uh, three to one with relics. I don't actually know where the fourth one is. Oh, running has it. So running's bringing that home. So it will be three to two. Mm -hmm. Which probably running would have hoped he could get an advantage on the relics with all that forward pressure. But yep, once yep, Yo yep. cleared it up, just was not to be. And running loses two more scouts on this side. And I think Yo knows about that wall off, right? He saw that earlier. Yeah, so he's going to go try and deny that. There's still a monk over there, but there's a scout here from Yo. And running is desperately trying to finish that wall in time. Has he he's missed any of these little tiles? Is there one tile missing? No, there's not. Great job. Yeah, nice from shot running. from running there. Yep, good timing. Could have obviously used a monk there to try and convert a camel, but then you could lose the monk, and you never really know what happens if the conversion doesn't come in. Uh, speaking of conversions, he's got two monks on the other side trying to convert villagers. Uh, this is awkward because there's no army there to deal with those monks at the moment. And what? Yo was just waiting until he could convert them back? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's like, I can't stop this conversion. I have no army there. I will simply convert them back to my side. And Yo's going to open skirms, probably thinking what we're thinking. Just defend from early opening with archer range units. Even if you don't, even if you're completely blind, you know your opponent's not going to be able to open stable units. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that comes to mind is maybe elephant archers. That <clears throat> is something that does slightly better against skirms than they used to, but even still, really it's also, expensive. Probably it's not also getting husbandry as well. Interesting. It's a good upgrade. I like it. I think it's one of those things. Right now, he has so much food. Yeah, he might as well just get ahead of the game with some technologies he might not really benefit from right now. I think he's kind of suspecting that uh, he'll go into cataphracts later on in the game. And there's a forward castle there from him. And if that castle goes up, that's going to be tough for running. That's on all of his production buildings there. I guess he could kind of push it back with some bomber cannons. But uh, it's going to be tough. Byzantine castle right in your face on all your archery ranges. With skirms behind. It's going to be difficult. Yeah. Prop rotation right away from Yo. Oh, my goodness. And the wood upgrade, too. Okay, so obviously running won't want this castle to go up, but he can't stop it. No. <laughs> it's it's an awkward situation because he doesn't have enough to kill the army. He does convert some skirmishers, which I guess is good. Camels but are that castle is going to go up, and it's right next to his ranges. And this could mean all of his ranges are ineffective and get trapped down. 
And also, there's stone there that I think Yo will gladly try and take. Dude, Yo has just been trying to 100% the tech tree here. Like, he has constantly six techs on the go this it's entire awesome. time. And his resources are still looking amazing. It was a fantastic boom from him. Eco is at a wild level of efficiency for this late in the game. I mean, like 83, 84% at some points. Crazy, dude. The Dravidians recent change, they received Bombard Cannon. However, you need chemistry first. Siege and that's something Yo is winning the raise to. Yeah, you don't normally see someone go for Siege Ram and Bomber Cannons right at the start. Yep. But, I mean, Yo can do it. He actually could have, like, 50 skirmishers right now had he been producing out of his ranges, but... I like this better. I think he's just going to switch. Yeah, set up for the late game and uh, get this forward area set up so that running will have to make Bomber Cannons to push you back. And you can go for a momentum-based play here with the Siege Rams, right? You can take all these archer ranges. Running will need to make them somewhere else. As he keeps falling further and further back in his base, and Yo isn't giving him any space. I'd like to see Yo. I know he does have the monk, and it's very unlikely running will ever raid the sides. But like the only small thing he's not doing is just walling that side himself. Yeah. But I think he understands that there, he's got so much pressure coming that his opponent's going to have to have everything here to defend. Siege is right. going to be so brutal for running here. So yeah. brutal. He needs like six to eight Bombard Cannons and a yeah. big ball of Skirms and Arbs to be able to push this back. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I just... I, I don't elephants. see anything running can do. Armored <laughs> Elephants? So bad. Really? Okay. And there's is... another castle from Yo on the other two Archer Ranges running make it further back and he calls it... Yeah, yeah. there's nothing he can do. Uh, it's just really well played from Yo. Yeah, well, both players with their wins so far, making the other one look clueless a little bit. Or yeah. actually, I'm actually going to take it one step further. I feel like the aggressors in both the games so far in this final have looked like they've made the wrong decision. Yeah. <laughs> Running's forward here, uh, questionable, and then Yo's organ gun play in the previous game, questionable. Uh, but the score's 1-1. Uh, very well played from Yo. I, I don't think he had to work too hard for it, but he made it happen. I think the just the Civ pick, questionable here for Running. Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, I would have to look at what's left on the on the draft because that's something that we don't see. We just see the civilizations that were picked and maybe it's a situation where running felt like Dravidians was one of his best options at the time. But dude, like, it's not like it was his final pick. Yeah. He picked Dravidians at, where is it? Um, his seventh pick. And you picked nine civs. You don't even need to play them all. So like, I... I have yet to get it, but again, I'm waiting for someone to tell me why we saw Tato pick Dravidians, why we saw running pick Dravidians now, and why it continues to be a theme. Okay, so Haido goes to Yo, and then we go into one of running's home maps now. We have Jungle Rumble, which has just had some fantastic games this tournament. Vintage Arena, and then Fortress as well, and we see running with uh, Bengalis, which have been pretty strong on Fortress. And we look on the other side for Yo, and I don't really see any of the typical Fortress sieves here. See, Fortress. Berbers would be really good, I think. Camel Archer and a Boom? Maybe. I don't know if Berbers are necessary. I, I mean, they're Ratha probably good on some of the other maps, too. Cav Archers, though, are they? I don't know who wins between Ratha and Camel Archer, but I do know that Camel Archer generally kills everything. Yep. It's, um, it's a solid bet, yeah. Yeah. Now, there might also be a situation where Yo is expecting running to pick Mongols in a certain map, so he saved Berbers for that because Berbers can be somewhat of a counter pick. Maybe. Like, my impression of the Ratha as a unit is that it is good enough like, it's solid enough to win games because of how good the Bengali eco is. But if there's a unit that you can control the map with on Regicide Fortress that's better than the Ratha, you can get away with your eco being slightly worse than the Bengalis, take a late game, and then you win. Mm -hmm. I think. Maybe. I think he'll but save... again, I haven't seen it. Yo will probably save Bulgarians for Fort Fortress again. Or not Fortress, uh, Fortified Clearing again, right? They looked really it good did yesterday. Work. Yeah. Yeah. It did work. 
Yeah, that was that was a crazy game. Like it's a bit of a shame. I I wish I would have given Vallis a little bit more of a chance in the lead up to Imp because I was just like, ah, Yo's gonna take this. Yeah, we both did. It was just, we both did. Yeah. yeah, and then it just shifted massively, and I was like, whoa. But in the end, I guess Yo proved us right. Yeah, it's uh, those games. I always feel bad because like games like that, we're really impressed with one player and what they're doing, and we just talk about that one player. We never talk about the other guy. But that's because yeah. like we're really excited, and we're impressed about the one, what the one player is doing, right? So, I guess it's just natural human instinct. But we should focus a little bit more on the other. Well, it's as it's well. all about game flow, you know. And uh, it, sometimes the players have to break the flow of the game that we think is going to happen mm -hmm. for us to start to acknowledge it. We did, we did. Like that death ball was pretty crazy with the Genoese crossbone and the bomber cannons. But Yo, uh, you know, what's interesting so far is that sped. Kino, running has been you. using the later picks, so he's kind of saving his stronger Nidu, sieves. Thank you. And Yo's just going right down the list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Portuguese first, Byzantine second, uh, the Aztecs next, I guess. I don't know. Well, I don't even know what the map's going to be. Fortified clearing. Again. Okay. Fortified right, clearing. Sick. So we're thinking... No, Fortress. It's not Fortify Clearing. Of course, it's Running's home map. We switched to Fortress now. I'm looking at the lobby. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. All right, so if it's Fortress, what's your guess for Yo's Sib pick then? Because uh, it's probably going to be Bengalis for running. Yeah, this is the biggest question mark for me uh, out of the remaining Sibs here. I, I don't know. I don't know. We have Lithuanians, maybe? Could they be good against... Mm. Let's see. You get I, tower shields, skirms. I kind of like Lithuanians for uh, jungle rumble. Yeah. Like Lithuanians are Aztecs there. Because I've been saying that I think players need to push the middle. And I think Lithuanians and Aztecs are really good at pushing middle there. But yeah, there, there's so many options. I, I don't really know. I guess Aztecs is something he might save for vintage arena as yeah. well. Uh, yesterday was an embarrassing loss for him on that map. And maybe he wants to redeem himself. It looks like we'll have our answers, though. It's going to be Berbers. Okay. So your Sick. initial suspicion was correct. And we're going to likely see the Camel Archers against the Ratha. Actually, how did Genitors do against Ratha? Mm. Actually. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I was just... That's Actually... the same thought that just went through my mind. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's actually tougher to get to Genitors than it is to get to Camel Archers simply because you have a castle. Oh, I'm not thinking opening Genitors. I'm thinking like just yeah, them yeah, in. yeah. No, that's a that's a really good point. I, I mean, I do believe that the Camel Archer can be strong, but my impression when seeing all units up against the the Ratha is like the Ratha seems to do pretty good against gold units, but just dies to skirms. Yeah, and we haven't been people trying see I'm people trying skirms. So I'm surprised you're right, that, maybe like, the Genitor. I, I might I think that like running running picked Vietnamese in his draft right I think he might have picked Vietnamese just so Yo couldn't pick them against Bengali some rich side fortress because I think I think Bengali just died at Imskirm right am I wrong Yeah maybe Rats and Archer as well That's another unique unit that is really strong on Regicide Fortress Yeah. Uh, did you happen to see the investigative work from so T West much, at all dude. yesterday evening after we finished on the whole King situation? Uh, no, I didn't. What did he uh, so come up with? So you were you were actually right. So um, I didn't get to watch all of his testing, and I'm sure he'll make a video on it. But that King was tr was attacking the elephant because of the splash damage thing. Because of the yeah, so the, because of the splash damage, and actually he tested it. It took like ten minutes for the king to kill the champion he was testing with. Mm. But it works with, like, uh, it's not just splash damage, but it's, like, if the king was, like, next to a building that's being attacked, it, like, automatically went and attacked. But it did, like... Because I know... I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was these kings. I know there's a different king. I think it's, like, King Sancho or something. There's a unit in the game that can do, like, one damage every so often as a king. Yeah. Um, but I didn't think it was in the with the Regicide Kings as well. It's interesting. I mean, it's probably a bug, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those legacy things that just, bug. <laughs> yeah, one of these things that came from twenty years ago. But yeah, yeah, you were you were right. It was actually attacking. I didn't know that like kings could actually attack. And he said that like he read on an old forum <laughs> that 
that uh, they used to be able to have a little bit of attack or something. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was the thing. But I didn't think it was this unit. I thought it was a different king unit. Different type it. of king. You're talking about like the. Uh, when you say king unit, do you mean like one's king, a hero and oh, one's so not? Like from or? The, yeah, yeah. From like the El Cid campaign, there was like a King Sancho unit that was literally like King Sancho, if I remember correctly. Okay. It's been okay. years. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's a different classification of unit. I thought that was the one that could attack, but I guess maybe it's coded the same. And the, I, I don't know, dude. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, it was it was definitely weird. <laughs> so I figured and, I'd bring it anyway, up. Anyway, Berbers against Bengalis. We have very similar uptimes for both of them, and they're probably just going to go FC. And my question here is, how many Camel Archers does Yo mix in in the Castle Age? Does he compete for the Relics? We saw the insane Monk armor coming into play on a Fortress game running played yesterday, where Tato's scout couldn't even kill the Monk in a 1v1. Um, so we'll see if he goes for the Relics again. I would suspect running is going for these Relics. But the Relics yeah. are in favor of Yo with this generation, big time. Yeah, it does look like it. I mean, if you... Oh, as Yo adds a stable. Interesting. Okay, yep. so this is another talking point we should bring up about the Berbers, that your stable units are cheaper, so it's a bit easier to field the map with Scouts and Light Cav. Um, yeah, I just I just want to see the Camel Archer against the Wrath... The Ratha. I just want to see how good I feel that, like they uh, just killed them. Matchup is. I think they just killed them. Ratha is only six plus four attack when fully upgraded. Camel Archer is what eight plus four. Yeah, but there's a pretty big HP difference. The the elite Ratha has 135 HP, and I think the elite Camel Archer has 80. How much armor do or they 85? have? 85. Once uh, everything is in, I think that's probably similar. Uh, but I mean, there's other factors too, like the Camel Archer's heal. I think what you mentioned is really smart, like maybe mixing in some Genitors because of all the bonus damage that Rathas take from Skirms. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have a mobility issue also, uh, as you would with normal Skirms. Rathas, at the end of the day, don't have that much attack. Six plus four yeah, yeah, on yeah. a range unit, fully upgraded. Genitors, what's the armor on them once they're fully upgraded? Like, I don't think the Rathas are going to be doing that much damage to them at all. It's just a nice little... Another unit to mix in there, and I don't think Bengalis really... They don't really have that much yeah. in the way of, you know, cavalry or anything like that that can uh, that can help out the Ratha. Yeah, so that's that's what we've been talking about. It's like, do we think the Ratha is the best unit ever? No, but within this type of setting where you get plus two villagers out of your town center every age you arrive to, that's very strong combined with the monks receiving extra hits. Uh, or, or being able to withstand extra hits. So I think like running will gain an eco lead, and Yo's going to be put under pressure to control the map. Mm -hmm. But we'll see, uh, you know, if Yo does a good job controlling the map, how good the units actually are for the Bengalis. <laughs> this guy in my chat keeps saying, is this fast? Is this faster than normal? Doesn't feel like normal speed. I'm watching the Berber economy. I think that's what's throwing him off. <laughs> Maybe. I should go back to running, running well, space or, over here. Or it's like, Maybe that individual plays casual speed. No, right? no, no. Like Tried, casual Tried, speed is no, slower. No, he's, he's watched before. I think he's just thrown okay, off so the Berber builds. He's just yeah. a little slow today. Is that it? Well, apparently the game isn't, so. <laughs> Yo's got a lot of food right now, but yeah. look at the difference in the town centers, right? Like, he's going monastery opening, and he's adding the scouts, and then running has the TCs already, and he has the vill lead, so. Yeah. It's really strong for running as the he goes for the castle wood and farm upgrade. We can see it here reflected on the villager count. Extra two when reaching feudal age, extra two when reaching castle age for running, and that is the advantage of the Bengalis. Let's see how many relics they can spot. We've got running, he can see three relics. Yo, he can well, he doesn't see the one in the corner. Yep. <laughs> but he sees the other four. The good news is it's very unlikely that running will ever get the one in the south. So even if he never scouts that, yeah, which I think he might if he has leftover monks later in the game, his opponent's not going to be able to get away with that one. Berbers don't get sanctity too. If he wanted to get it, ah, running, that's running an interesting is getting thing. it now. Yeah, and running with sanctity with Bengali monks, I don't. I think you're going to need two scouts to kill these monks. I don't think you can take it out with one. Ooh, yo, was... did notice that. It's Ooh, can Yo save this? No, he can't. No, he can't. He's going to try and use the TC, which is smart, but... It does damage the scout, though, so that's something. It's one relic. 
for running and running actually adds that third TC. Yo already adding his own third TC. Oh, and both running, players... running is going to convert this. I actually think Yo needs to delete. Yep. We, we saw this before. With Sanctity, there's just no way you kill these things. But let's see. It might be worth it in the end because he'll have more scouts coming and he does kill it now. Yeah, if you're against Bengali monks, I think Yo just learned a valuable lesson about that. And he's going to have to keep his scouts together if he wants to take yeah. one out without losing his scout. Yo's food eco, like, like his eco in general, is just going to be so much worse. There's so many farms for running at the moment as he goes for the third town center. Uh, these two eco upgrades behind as well, because running was able to get the wood and farm upgrade. Running's done a much better job easing his way into the TCs. I was incorrect. I said he went to three right away, but he's just now adding that, but it's the perfect timing. I mean, Yo has had faster villagers this entire time, so that's something, right? A little bit of an eco I bonus there for Berbers. Yeah, let's see if this monk's going to go down. Great job from Yo. Perfect timing. The relic is still going to be right next to the tower. Oh, wait. He hops inside. Oh, yep. Oh, he yep. saves it. Yep. That People was impressive. People always forget you can do that with a monk with a relic. Hops inside the tower. What a play there from running. And he's just going to be oh, chilling in there. Oh, and he now goes there. to the castle too. Yeah, very creative. Obviously, it could be a little problematic in an arena map if the scouts get in, but you've got some towers and the castle helped out there. Now there's but Yo's still there able to get the other relics. Yeah. So Yo has one and probably a second relic coming in. And then the one in the corner, I mean, any anyone's guess on when that's going to be found. But Yo, yeah, will probably, yeah, yeah. Yo will probably assume that running has three relics and running will assume that Yo has three relics. So at the end of the day, it's going to be fairly even. Running's going for another town center. He's going to add TC number four. Oh, my goodness. I like how That's he's making the houses at too. the back, too. He's, like, squeezing them in there <laughs> one yep. at a time. Yo, still no Castle Age wood upgrade. The farm upgrade's kind of standard, unless, you, you you know, you have a really good eco bonus hit. But um, uh, having that wood upgrade definitely affects the wood income for any future farms. Uh, still no Camel Archers, Dave. But like you said, there is one Ratha out there, which is on melee mode. So it's got 10 attack, 105 HP, very strong. Let's see if Yo finds his monk. He's probably going to dive. And no, nope, never he, mind. He yeah, he twice. learned his lesson. He was definitely going to lose his scout there. And he doesn't want to give a scout to running when he's got a monk coming across the map for that relic. Oh, he'll he definitely get it wants here. to convert that Ratha, though. Here. Yeah, that monk's yep. dead. Yeah, he and now the Ratha could too. be converted. Oh, boy. Deleted. That's really valuable play there for Yo as he goes for the 4TC now on the south side. I just realized how satisfying it is to watch a Ratha die. 50 C for running. Whoa. That could be considered an overboom here. Because oh by the time you reach Imp, with four TCs, you're going to get eight extra villagers. You get 10 get extra 10 villagers now. on top of like yeah. 140 you're going to have. That's crazy. I'm waiting for someone to do a build as the scout. Oh, scout comes in from running and that monk is dead from Yo. 100%. Yep, probably. Waiting for someone to do a build where they like, you know, they go up fast imp with one TC or something like that. And then they add like five TCs on the way to imp <laughs> and just get themselves an extra 12 villagers when reaching. Right. So you got like the fast imp timing, but you're not making bills. You're just making TC. Yeah. Might be a bit expensive, but I mean, it would make sense. I think but... What I think you can actually do along those lines is a two TC boom. And then add the TCs on the way up yeah. to like catch up in bills. But but then it's like, why are you going in? So it's in a situation where maybe trebs are needed or something. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he's this gonna is get awkward. one. He's gonna get one monk. He's gonna lose his own monk though. Running will definitely Ooh, convert that. Yeah. yeah. Could get really lucky here. It does happen. Nope. Not to yo. Not to yo. I like how there's that relic in the south still. Like, all the monks could be heading there, and no one knows about it, but... If Yo gets town patrol, he might be able to see that. If he makes, like, houses around there later, maybe. Yeah. I think that's that's where he might build some of his buildings later. So running he's going to wall it off, off, so that's essentially his. Yeah, running is walling off in the north. He still hasn't gotten that relic. And Yo is making another monk to come out. 
I mean, these engagements have been pretty valuable for Yo, though. It's not like he's losing monks one at a time, like he did in that arena game yesterday. Or, yep. you know, five in a row or six in a row. He's actually killing running's units that are coming out here to contest this, so. I think running had the right idea uh, with going with monks together with the Bengalis, but he had three monks at the time that he did that. I kind of would have liked to see him go with three. I don't think there's any way two scouts have a chance against three. Okay, so Imperial Age on the way from Yo. Loom on the way from running, and Yo is already starting to add in the Camel Archers. Wait until he clicked him, and now he's investing the resources in that, getting Husbandry as well. And he has the Camel over there along with the Scout. Husbandry is going to be really nice for him here. But see how active Yo is with this Scout right now. Because... Actually, that Scout can't even take out that Monk. True. And the Camel so, can't get anywhere near it. Yeah. So running is definitely getting this relic, 100%. Well, no, because I think the Camel Archers might swoop in. Something might swoop in. Yo's going to be patient. Do you get fervor here? <laughs> no. No? Okay. I can't wait to see the Vils for running. <laughs> He's going to have so many villagers. And Camel from Yo is there. Running sees it. Good micro from both of them. This is definitely a situation where Yo usually would need to run away. He does. That's funny. And where are the Camel Archers? Here come the Camel Archers. There's also a Monk waiting right there for Yo. So he knows he could snag this with the Camel Archers. This is like a relay, though. It's one yeah. step at a time for running to get back. And he's going to try and charge up against the Scout and then shift to the Camel Archers. They do have Pierce Armor as well, he might Tristan. Get both. Oh, he doesn't oh, even man. get one. Well played what? from Yo. He does get well the camel, though. Well played from Yo. And the camel in the end should just be deleted, honestly, because oh, it'll just be converted back. Very impressive stuff from Yo. I don't know how he didn't get that first camel archer. He should add two camel archers there. That was crazy. Yeah, that's monks for conversion. you, man. Yep. I think we're going to see elephants from running because he's going for stables. Yo with the patented double blacksmith approach. I see Yo doing this all the time. I love it. Yep. So many resources. Just need to get those upgrades quickly. Okay, so important moment where Yo should go by the towers and realize that Fletching isn't in. And if Fletching is not in, he has to think what else would his opponent open with. Mm -hmm. Halberdier, Halberdier would not make sense against Camel Archers. So the other option is Elephants. Now, I think Camel Archers are still pretty good against Elephants, but you might need to have Heavy Camel in front as well. Yeah. Elephants. Oh, my God. This is why oh. he wanted to boom this much. Yeah. He's got, watch his vil count. Boom. 142 vils. And he's popped. <laughs> How are you, host? <laughs> <laughs> got to prepare for these things, my friend. All right, so there's the upgrade. Elite Battle Elephant. I mean, I feel like uh, the devs out there really want this to work right now because yep. we just don't see that too frequently. The Elephant Archers are still left in the dust. And I feel like Elephant Archers would actually be half decent. Because they have high pierce armor against something like a camel archer, but maybe it's a time thing. Maybe he needs to mass a couple trebuchets with these elephants and then just steamroll this over the next five minutes. Also, he think can't, like, like go late. the issue with elephant archers is you need them in a mass, but they're also so slow and unwieldy. So yeah, the camel yeah, archers yeah. can just pick away, run to the other side, pick away over there, and your elephant archers are slogging the way over there. At least with elephants or battle elephants. You can just kind of patrol them in and push your opponent Yo? back. Yo's really not producing a lot of camel archers right now. No. I, I don't know why. still trying to figure out what's going on here. But I guess but, even, but again, if, like, even if it is elephants, you still want the camel archers. Yeah, he cues Yeah, so that's the thing. Is like, why aren't you producing here? He's going to open with a treb. But the fact that he researched Kazba for castle, faster castle production, and he just hasn't had his castles queued he with saw camel the archers. elephants with his scout. I don't I don't think you wanna I, I yeah, okay, he's gonna add barracks now. I actually think this could work for running. That's a lot of elephants. And don't they attack faster with the pikes upgrade? Twenty five. I think they do. Yeah. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. Full armor already. They're running, maybe saving resources for upgrades, or he forgot to queue. Yeah, he queues up ten elephants, all those resources. Disappear. I don't think pikes are good though. Uh, pikemen are good because <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take Bengali stick less bonus damage as well on their elephant units, so 
Yeah, you and don't they're more resistant help, to so. conversions as well. But Yo is going to have the pikemen there, and I guess it's just going to be as a meat shield in front for his camel archers. Still needs to be adding camel archers though. Twenty is not enough. Yeah, this is bad, dude. Like he needs these castles could be queued the whole time. He could be upwards of thirty camel archers, and he's not. And if he had 30, 40 camel archers and he was adding the pikes, I'd start to believe as the army oh, count would be higher. Dude, I love the fact that running is hes doing exactly what he needs to right now. He's just building up a giant wave of yep. elephants. He's not sending them in, you know, 10, 15. He's going to wait till he has like 40. And then he's going to go with five trebs behind. So this is going to be a momentum play here for running. It's going to be incredibly difficult for Yo to weather the storm. He is getting elite camel archer, which is nice. Maybe that's why he wasn't making camel archers, but he's only got 20 right now. There's 35 elephants. Elephants are so much more expensive. Better pack up that trebio, and you better hope that the pikes can do something here. I feel like running's to... got a real shot. Yeah, too late to pack up the treb, and the pikes aren't doing anything to these. Dude, these things are so tanky. And still so many upgrades missing on the pikemen. Like, you have you've two upgrades now. I don't think upgrades are going to go make a difference kill. at all on these pikemen. Yeah, I don't pikemen know. just They're do just not do enough shield. bonus damage to begin with. They are not there to kill the elephants. The the camel archers are there to kill the elephants. They are simply yeah. there to distract the elephants. They're they're there to die, basically. These pikemen. And now and it's checking checking the champion as a follow up for running. Um, yeah, I I think like. What he needs is he needs a follow-up castle right next to the barracks, and then he just goes for the kill. I don't, I don't think he necessarily needs other units. I think because the elephants, are he's spending all of his gold, which is what Yo was hoping for. He's hoping this guy will run out. And there's a castle from running. Oh, my this God. He's got the trebs following up behind. Oh, how do you stop this? Actually, well, as we say it, though, that choke point is awful for the elephants. Their size is really hurting them there. And Yo is whittling down the elephants now that he has a camel archer mass up to 40. Here come the trebs, though. The dangerous part about this push isn't just so much the elephants. It's the trebs behind that are going to kill everything. Yep. But I like this from Yo denying that castle with the uh, camel archers, really using the mobility. He knows that he can't allow that castle to come up. He's not going to fight the elephants. He's going to say, catch me if you can. And he's going to kill all of these villagers building the castle there from running. It momentum. is interesting, though. Running still has 143 villagers. <laughs> and the elephants are in Yo's eco. Like, Yo can only be in so many spots at once. Yep. You can see the villas are coming now. Let's see if Yo will, will be able to do something more with the pikemen and Campbell Archer combination this time. Because the elephants are all kind of spread out. I'd like to see Yo hop out now. He is pop-capped. It would be a good time for it. And there he is. He hops out with some pikes. And here come the Vils for running. So the Trebs will continue to take out buildings, and the castle will go up. Very hard to kill these things. Yo has the higher population, Dave, but the population efficiency is definitely there for running at the moment, at least with, like, how how much HP his units have. Oh, Yo is running through the elephants now with his camel archers. He's trying to get back <gasps> that way. Oh, why didn't he just go around the other way? Anyway, he's got pikemen. He's still got this camel archer mass. Running yep. is now still teching into champion. His elephant numbers are dwindling, but he's used this window he's opened for himself to build that castle, to come forward with another castle, and to get the trebs all stacked up behind here. Oh, but Davey's got, like, no elephants now. Yeah, They've yeah. They've all been taken out. The camel archers are good enough. This and is the that's risk not with the elephants. castle you want. Yep. Yeah. Like, it looks so good, but you have to make it happen in the two or three minutes that you've given yourself. And running... I don't think he was quite fast enough getting forward with those trebs. Yeah. Also, great play from Yo to delay that castle for a very long time and to keep all his camel archers alive. Yeah, he's going to try and deny this one, which would be pretty astounding, actually. He because does. There's a lot of villagers there. No way! He does. The Lord is here. But there's more villagers awesome. coming. Running is still queuing up bills, but he's only got eight elephants, one longsword, and four trebs now, Tristan. Oh, yeah, I, I feel like the elephant enthusiasts were really excited about this one, but we've seen the weakness of them, right? You get one chance. That's it. You get one shot. Oh, boy. Okay, so obviously, I, I think for running there, he felt like he needed to hit before the Camel Archer mask got higher. However, I didn't see him research a single unique deck. Am I wrong? Did he get them? Did he get pikes? I don't know. I don't think he got pikes. He's missed two attack upgrades. 
And he also, I mean, this one might be tough combined with Pikes, but the Mahayana could have been really good as well yeah. because he was pop capped to 200 and he could have had more elephants on the field. Yeah, but, I, think, I think like if he doesn't go into the attempted switch into, I mean, he didn't spend that much on the long swords and stuff like that yeah, at the end of true. the day. That's like five elephants worth of resources. That's how expensive they are. Yeah, But yeah, maybe yeah. he could have kept producing elephants. He's got some res in the bank and just tried to make that push work. But I think with the way Yo was using the camel archers with the mobility, Yo is always going to weather the storm there. It's just, oh, it's so tough. And I, I see a lot of confused people in my chat right now saying like, early GG, what? He had the advantage? No, he didn't. What he advantage? Knew, yeah. yeah, he knew exactly I, where this game was going. I mean, yeah, I do think that you can consider the GG early based on his pop, but he has 11 army. Yeah. And he has no more in Q. And his castle is going to be pushed down by Yo any second. So it's just experience there from him understanding it's, it's going to be over. Um, all that said, Yo with a great counter pick. We have seen Bengali, Bengali, Bengali dominate Regicide Fortress. And we were kind of correct. Like the units that the Bengalis have are not necessarily what you pick them for. Yep. And the Ratha was not an option in Running's mind because Yo would have Camel Archer. And Elephant was. The only other thing besides maybe uh, elephant archers and camel archer dominates. GG. I mean, Yo's got to be sweating after that one, though. <laughs> it was way too <laughs> close, bro. <laughs> like, it was way too close for comfort. Yeah, I, I, I wish we could see that same thing again. Like, I wish we could rewind and see the unique text in before he pushes for that initial castle. Because if you remember... Yo had like 20 camel archers when he made the push. So I think, I mean, okay, the push was successful, but what if right after he comes out with the elephants initially, then he gets the faster attack speed? Mm -hmm. It's a shame. It is a real shame. Now, here's the deal. Like, to anyone who's going to propose the elephant buffs or whatever, that's a delicate balance because that is a 320 HP unit with tons of attack. In many situations, it is almost like impossible to counter, it feels like. So, at least in team games. So, you don't, like, want them to be good all the time because then you might not be able to stop them ever. Mm -hmm. But it's a shame that we didn't, you know, get to see a real power unit like that do more. Smile. I think the, only, the only reason the elephants look so good there, though, is because running use them exactly how you're supposed to use them. With yeah, one I giant agree. wave with siege behind, like if yeah, if you don't running mix had it been, with anything else. How many times have we seen people try and do that and then like send out ten, and then they just die and then they're like, oh well, that didn't work. Okay, tech switch into yeah. something else. Yeah, I mean, apart from the lack of upgrades, sure. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah. Well, um, all right, interesting series, but so far, a uh, yo wins two straight. Yo will be feeling Lars, good about that one. thank you so much, dude. Again, I think he, he went in with one, a counter Mad pick. Loki, and thank you, guys. Use a thank quote you. From Tato, he said, nothing, thank you so much. Nothing bro. feels better than preparing a strategy and having it work perfectly. Yep. And I remember, Tat, I always talk to Tato after events. He gets so excited about his strats. It's so cool. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Repeat. Deja vu for Yo here. Malay against Aztecs on Vintage Arena. Oh, no way. Oh, please don't let us see the two-handed swords that come out again. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Unless someone told Yo in his mind, he thinks that his opponent had Force Levy in that game. Yep. <laughs> he might have watched it was an it embarrassing back. loss. He might have watched it back. Maybe. I mean, he probably... Someone had to tell him, right? Mm -hmm. there's, enough, there's enough people around. Someone probably told him. Um, but yeah, we are here and catching up to speed. Game four. Yep. And wonderful vintage arena sheep on the outside. We see boars on the outside as well. Yo mm -hmm. has a boar outside his walls. Deer are all out there too, and they're very close together. I wish Capture Age would keep the colors consistent and we wouldn't have to change it every time, but it's probably not worth it for them to script that in. I mean, it's just too much work, isn't it? <laughs> too much work for us, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We're lazy, bro. <laughs> I know. Okay, right. so another thing about this map is that you do have more gold in your base. Um, I love the gold positions for running. I mean, everything seems to be towards the backside for him, even his stone. So uh, if he does get pushed, that'll be more secure. But Dave, my opinion yesterday when we saw this matchup where you lost in a semifinal game 
Because sir, I'm trying to talk to my friends. Stop. Have to go like YOLO, man. Like go two barracks, two monasteries. Thank you. And just just go like all in pressure to get those relics and take it yep. from there. But maybe that's yep. not a possibility against the Malay eco. I don't know. Uh, well, you're so close here. I think you have to hold middle control. Otherwise, it like a forward castle on this map isn't even a forward castle. It's kind of a defensive castle. <laughs> like, yeah, you're you're yeah. so close to your opponent, especially on that one edge. Fortunately, the golds and stuff are a little bit further away. We're paused, by the way, right? Yeah, this is probably Yo saying, hey, are these relics supposed to be like this? Because this is the most lopsided arena generation I've seen since 2017. Maybe. <laughs> like, I don't think he scouted it right now because he hasn't even scouted his sheep. Uh, it's probably just a pause for them. Oh, he's to... probably looking for his boar, dude. Yes. Does he see his boar? Oh, he does. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's that's probably it. Yeah, he finds it now. Um, and now he's gonna have to come out here. But but yeah, I mean the relics are also really bad for Yo here. So running a bit fortunate with the map generation, I'd say. Yeah, Yo's got one. Running has one, two, three, four <laughs> relics on the. That's arm. crazy. Welcome to Arena back in the day, folks. Welcome. Um, for anyone who missed the force levy situation yesterday, I will tell you, I realize we're talking about it, but not explaining basically. So force levy is technology where your two handed swordsmen don't cost gold. And yesterday, Valis made like 80 two handed swordsmen without researching force levy. <laughs> so he paid full price for two handed swordsmen and killed Yo, yep. uh, which was uh, we felt embarrassing for you. And it's so. not like he wanted to end the, the game early, too, because he got freaking crop rotation. That was supposed yeah, to be... Yeah, right. I, I could see it for, like, a momentum play, you know? Like, oh, I'm going to end the game before this really comes into play. I'm just not going to waste res on that. I'm going to put it in my units. But he got crop rotation, and he had, like, 52 ended swordsman queued up or something. <laughs> like, Yeah. So we assume he he thought he clicked it. Yeah. Which is a common mistake. And then he just queued up the units. Didn't make but... a difference, but... Yeah, he won. So, but yeah, dude, this is, it's, it's vintage, but like, this is so good for running. Mm -hmm. Every single thing about this map gen favors him. The gold positions in his base, the relic positions, the boar and sheep positions, every single I think thing. The only thing that might not favor him is the two secondary golds being right next to each other on the outside there. But you can even secure that because of the wood line setup. So it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it's not true. that bad. <laughs> Yo's going to find his sheep. Yo's up already. Now, remember, this is a nine villager start, guys. So the um, the approach for the players will be a little different from what you're used to with the times on your screens. And the deer's going to go back for Yo. So that's another annoying thing for him. But I think he had already pushed in most of them. So that's yeah, he nice. pushed in. He pushed in two of them. You get a patch of three deer here. And Yo lets it. Yo scouts a little bit while the deer resets. And he's going to push it back towards his... Town center and his eco is going to be looking pretty good. Running still isn't up, but that's because he's Malay. So you add a few more villagers. You go up a little bit later. Your eco is going to be stronger than your opponent. And uh, you can make the two buildings and then click up to Castle Age. And you'll probably be up to Castle Age faster than them. Look how Hello. late running ends with that boar. That's interesting. To have four farms before you take your second boar yeah, is actually, definitely unique. This is actually quite late, even for Malay. On the this nine villager start. Yeah, I agree. I mean, but the more I look at it, I think the resources are deceiving because he is will be there, what pretty quickly. So I think he'll be mm -hmm. okay. He was gonna go blacksmith market, and if he were to do what I'm hoping he will do, he will also add a barracks. Mm -hmm. But uh, no sign of that just yet. Also, not a fan that he mining camped the three tile gold. Unless he's going to TC the other gold, then I wouldn't mind it. I mean, it's still far back in your base, right? Yeah. So you always tells me Yo's right going to boom. And unfortunately for Yo, as he goes up to the Castle Age right now, he's not going to know the other relic positions. So for all he knows, they could be just out of sight in the north. He's not going to mm -hmm. know at the moment that they're all near running. You can suspect, maybe. But that might yeah, have changed is... his, his game plan if he knew that. Might have gone a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> Yo's like, Yo's probably thinking about it at the moment. And he might like send a message later to John Slow, the host of this. But I feel like if you were to ask John Slow about this, his response would be so different than the rest, like any other tournament yep. host. 
Yeah. Like if it's me, I'm like, well, you know, we had an issue with the bug map. We put a lot of time into it. He'd just be like, it's Vintage Arena. If you sign up, you get Vintage Arena. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I respect that. I like that That's what a lot. he would say. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. Random map generation. All right. Well, the, the second eagle's on the way. The good news for Yo is that he saved his eagle because running Scout and Feudal Age wouldn't have been able to kill that. And now look at the Castle Age time. Malay are just disgusting. You have... You essentially have three more villagers working for mm -hmm. each age up because you spend less time researching your age up in the TC and you get back to creating vills. And then you can have an eco like this and have a competitive uptime. This is awesome. And running already has that second scout up and he's going for the third and the fourth as well. And Yo is just going for the one barracks approach again. We saw he had the most eagles at the end of the Castle Age engagement yep. in the last game, but he didn't win in any of the early fights, really. And he lost a lot of monks because his eagles were just too slow to catch up. He goes for another monastery here. Yo famously hates Arena, though, so maybe he's just going to go for the same strat and say, screw it. If it works, it works. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would be surprised if Yo has a lot of success here. Um... Running has had a really good buildup so far. I also love how he didn't try and add the TC right away. He's really prioritizing the light cav upgrade and the production. He is 20 seconds away from light cav. But those monks are going to have to travel so far. And I think yesterday, Yo lost like five monks going for one relic. And he had to travel to the other person's walls. So he mm -hmm. has to do that four times, essentially. Double monastery Not going to be now. easy. He didn't have double monastery yesterday. Why not double barracks? Well, I mean, if you get Sanctity, you get the text. Your monks will have more HP as Aztecs. Still have the Eagles to protect, so maybe it'll buy you enough time. Mm -hmm. The HP will buy you enough time to kill the Light Cav, but, I mean, the Light Cav are coming in here, and running is going to be like, all right, thank you. Yep. We'll eat that for lunch, and then he's going to send them back, heal them up, and he doesn't have to walk very far for his relics at all. Yeah, he's definitely got more of a YOLO outlook in some ways. Uh, he's going to drop the second TC, though, but he's got four farms, Dave. So he's relying a lot on golds. Uh, running is going to get relic number one. Remember, Aztecs get 33% more gold per relic, which is why it's it's already going to be a big talking point on Arena, but it's a much bigger talking point when we have Aztecs involved. And there's a TC for running, which is on stone. Interesting. And normally the second TC is always on a wood line for high level players. So that's unique. Maybe he wants to, he's thinking about a forward castle placement somewhere. Yeah, I think he will build all of his new farms around that TC mm -hmm. and try and like judge how much stone income he wants. Because what you don't want is you don't want like all your new vills to go to stone right there because then your food eco could suffer usually. I think Yo should be happy if he gets two relics here. He's going to get at least one. And I think he'll get the one in the north with the relic positions. Like, at least running has still had to invest into contesting these relics, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, that's yeah, a terrible engagement there. That's awful, dude. That is awful. Yeah, the thing is, he can't get away because he hasn't invested into eagle upgrades. He doesn't have squires. He doesn't have he upgrades. He does have squires. He does have squires. Oh, he did get squires. Okay, yeah. my bad. And now the monk in the north is going to go down. But there's a light cap coming, and yo is just like, I know I'm probably not going to survive this. I'm going to try and get it as far back as possible. He probably would have been better suited to just keep running with that monk to get it as close to his base as he possibly could. Double monastery was not the play. Like, What are more monks going to do here in this situation? I think it has not paid off for Yo, at least, and running is on his way to get that relic I think, in the I south. I think Yo might get the one in the north, though. Fervor's coming in. That'll give him an additional 5 HP. It'll make his monks... Uh, faster as well and yeah he's gonna get two uh look he's he's playing the, he's he's doing the relay system no he's not damn it yeah he doesn't have the buffer it's still light cav at the end of the day that oh monk goes God. down the more the other light cav are gonna loop in to kill that next monk they should anyways unless running's not fast enough yeah okay fervor actually pays off here he will get home with that one all right, so 43 Vils versus 40. Yo going to his third town center now. Uh, running is now in the third TC. And yeah, he is farming heavily around the stone TC, so he's not 
going for the early castle, but he's definitely going to be mindful of, of uh, the stone, and we'll, we'll want that for later. So the relic income between these two is going to be fairly even, right? Because Aztec relics two versus three Malaya relics. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know monk? how the math works out there exactly. Yeah, another monk goes down too. Should be slightly in favor of uh, of running, I think. Yeah, probably worth it there to lose all your eagles just to delay it. But at the end of the day, I also don't think you're ever going to get that one because it's so close. But at least you force running to make another monk. So someone asked which civilization is the best post him like, if all the texts come in. And it's clearly Aztecs for me. Mm -hmm. uh, from their monks to their skirms to their siege, uh, I think Aztecs are the best. However, Aztecs are also, they rely a lot more on gold. Uh, and Malay are kind of the opposite. They're very good without gold. To Malay, it's more about numbers, not necessarily the strength of their individual units. I feel like, though, the units that Malay make without gold are countered by the units that Aztecs can make without gold. <laughs> you know, like, like I feel yeah, like the ways, lateral, like the lateral skirms. skirms and even, like, pikemen with uh, Garland Wars, like, Malay, I don't know. It's kind of like a really bad army versus really bad army. They cancel each other out. I really like what Yo's starting to do now. If he can get a few more spearmen out and go for a siege workshop, this would be awesome. And also, atonement now, mm -hmm. so he can convert enemy monks, which might seem like a lot, but I'm always okay with getting extra techs with Aztecs because it saves your monks later on with that HP. In the light cab, well, they made their way around the okay. eagles very casually, and now <laughs> Yo has lost all of the monks that he was investing oh. into. That is awful. Yo is a wizard at losing monks. It's almost magical. It's almost like if your opponent goes light cab, you shouldn't go double monastery with one barracks. I'm sensing I judgment from you. <laughs> I'm I don't impressed. know. I mean, I'm I'm just impressed. I don't know. It's the rare opportunity where I get to be judgmental of Yo because this is like maybe the one map where he doesn't. He doesn't pay attention to the meta too much and understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, we should say that the, the light cap won't scale too well for running, so he will need to switch into something else. But he's got some great economy right now, and Yo's going to go for a siege push, which starts kind of in the middle, which will probably take a little too much time to have any effect now. Well, the light cap are going to do wonderful against that Manganel when it comes out. Also, more monks here from Yo. He's got villagers there, though. And he goes for another barracks. Perfect. He's learning. Running is about to click up the imp, though. And running Crazy. will have enough for a castle, and Malay will get to Imperial so quickly. The siege pressure from Yo, we've seen it work many times in situations where it probably shouldn't work. And that's one of his strengths as a, pre as a player, but I think this one is more difficult than most. I mean, running can mm -hmm. just go for a, a castle in defense. Might even need to think about moving those relics right now, but I think he's fine. And Yo will go for eagles, a ram, more monks. Oh, boy. There's going to be a castle up. Obviously, that's going to mean that Karambit Warriors could come out. Karambit Warriors could be an awesome opening here if you've just got a couple eagles and monks out. A 15 to 7 KD for running, who's looking to tie up the finals here. And Yo is still very much stuck in Castle Age. He spent thousands of gold on monks and monk upgrades. All for two relics. But he's stuck with it. You know, it's like there's a part of him where he's like, this is arena. You know what, I need though? to continue to, to he push might be able bugs. to. He might be able to steal these relics, maybe. It's like here with the Mangonel, which means the monks can't come out and move them away. He's going in with the ram, too, and he's got monks waiting behind here, Tristan. I think he's thinking about a relic ice. This is like Ocean's 15 or something. How many <laughs> units are here? Well, I think like there's been there, how many oceans have there been? Uh there was like 11, 12, there, 13, there has oceans, there been a 14 already? 11, 12, 13 and then there was Oceans 8, which was like a soft reboot of the series. I don't know. Okay. I didn't well, Oceans I don't even think Oceans 12 was that good. Oceans 11 is where it's at. Oceans 12 was pretty good. It has its moments. Yeah. They all have their moments. Well, patience from running. Remember, you don't need to worry about gold running out on this map too much because there's so much more gold on it, at least in your base, and then he also in the middle. But uh, again, running, just waiting. He's going to make Yo think that he will have a chance at those relics. But in the end, I don't think Yo will have any chance. And here at come the light cap. And the Karambits yep. are waiting in the castle, too. 
Like he can clear this at any point when he ne when he needs to. And there go four more relics. He did get a conver He converted one. He got a conversion. Woo! That grounds. Okay. It doesn't get the hit. And the Kramit Warriors say, see ya. Kramit Warriors are not elite, but they're very strong and and uh, very cheap, I think I should say. They're not actually that strong if you don't have too many upgrades. But it's yeah, the cost I mean, of them. You wow. can see, yeah, they're not that. They're very strong. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they just got absolutely destroyed, bro. <laughs> well, the siege will get picked off here. It's the light cap, I think. I think the light cap made the difference. But you've got 30 HP. I think it goes up to 45 HP in uh, Imp once you get yeah. elite. Yeah. The key is the speed mm. they they create. The less pop space they take, and the price. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be about map control now. What does Yo open with? Yo's just now adding ranges. Yep. And Yo will have resources, but he's also just now getting fletching, so it feels like he's very late to a tech switch. Don't worry, he's adding a few more monks. Okay. <laughs> well, it, it is always nice if your opponent adds bomber cannons to do that. There should be more and more castles here. I, I like that Yo is making outposts towards the south because he will want to have vision on where his opponent is for when he eventually goes for an attack. Yo has to be careful wherever he places this first castle because his opponent has two of them already with map, map control. So I would even justify a castle in the back just so you can get your upgrades possibly. Running has so much res right now. It's almost like he doesn't know what to do with it. He's going to go for a castle. Forward and then let's take the stone, I think. Okay, elite karambit. Yep. I think elite karambit is a little bit of a. I I don't know, I, I don't know if I love it because it, it, Yo can make so many units that it will just shred those whether they're elite or not. And fighting through mm -hmm. a choke point with karambits is a bad idea. I I like it if he combines it with something else later, and I like it because there's so much gold that he has under control, like. He's got two gold piles in his base, three relics, and two gold piles behind this castle. So I think that he should be able to, to make quite a few of these bad boys. There's a castle there from Yo. Arbalist will absolutely destroy those Karambits. Karambits are great if the map is open and you're running into the eco and you're just tossing away units and, and trading them off for villagers or something like that. But if you're fighting through a choke point, oh boy, do these things ever struggle. They're just not strong enough. I hope running doesn't go for the monasteries because I think you want Yo to keep those relics there in case you get a push in. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see him just go for the gate. Yeah, because now Yo's going to move the relics back. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's about like if you steal those relics because if you steal those relics, you're probably in a good spot to win the game from there. I was thinking Yo had some like sneak base or something in the middle. He's just making houses. <laughs> yeah. Dave, it's 38 Karambits with 15 more on the way. It's 14 Arbalest with 8 more on the way. And mm -hmm. there's 5 Archer Ranges producing Arbs. There's going to be 4 Castles okay, Don't get Karambits. caught out like this. You can deal with the Karambits, but not in the middle of an open field like that against those numbers. If they get through there, Yo is wiped. I think, anyways. I think. Uh, Let's see. The no, Karambits get in. I think the in. Karambits will just die here, right? Um... They are, you know what, what hurt there for running is that his Karambits spent time attacking each other. What hurt there for running is the that he had an army of Karambits. Dude, because you're they under, just, you're they, under, Karambits what am I are good, man. What am I doing? Because I just Karambits saw, are I, good. Just, I just saw 30 units run in and probably killed two. They're fine, trust me. <laughs> I, I think they're fine. I mean, the arena guys. I don't. I don't think love their karambits. I don't think they're good in like a if a closed map situation. They're good if you can get yeah, in. Yeah. If you can get in the sides. If running is ever raiding at some point, it's fine. Or if it's a war of attrition, then well, they could be good. Well, it's not going to be just karambits. Good news for running. It'll be karambit onager skirm, which is yeah. really good. Now Yo could use monks. Heresy. To convert the onagers, but it does make him work for it. Heresy coming in. Oh, what, a, what a choice. So running knows exactly the counter of these onagers from Yo. It's going to be the monks. Yo will go for a castle out there. Yo needs to grab this gold and this stone here, by the way. Yep. He's taking the skirm. He can get at Laddle for his skirms. So we see the Kramitz okay. come again. Oh, they took out one of Yo's trebs. 
Goes running on limited golds. He's got a nice little choke point to sit there. That's though. a real. Why would you ever place that castle? That, there's trebs. Like, the beauty of the Karambits is that you don't have to pay attention to them, and they, they get one surround, and they wipe all the ARPs. And you just queue more. He's got 80 of them on the field. Look how many more are on the way. Yep, this is... Uh, okay. All right, Tristan. I will say an individual effort, maybe a F for the Karambits, but as a <laughs> teamwork potential, we'll give them an A-plus for yeah, that, because holy... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just the cost of them. But honestly... Again, hate to be cr too critical, but that's just not a great approach from Yo. And yeah. he was so late going into Should say, so late. while it was a bad approach, it was on one of the worst map gens he could have got. Like the map didn't do him any favors either. So, Yo was like, just, I, I think. Yeah, I don't know. He was the relic war didn't work out for him. He lost so many monks again. The Relic Generation wasn't favorable from him from the start, but I think the biggest thing for me is he was so late to get into the Arbalis. Yeah. Yeah, the tech switch. He was getting fletching as he was on his way to Imp. No, he was getting fletching when he was, like, in Imp. It was disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, the mini siege push near the tail end was, yeah. like, way too late. I don't know. He just, he just looked like a player who doesn't play a lot of arena, right? And he made it all the way to the final in an arena-style tourney, so clearly he knows what he's talking about in general. Yeah, uh, but we'll see what the next map will end up being for him. Running well played, obviously a lot more experienced on arena, and had sick eco that game. I remember at one point all people would go for with melee was Karambits, and then I think their HP was docked, and I think their, their um, cost was up. Cost went up a little yeah. bit. Hurricane Fiona couldn't stop me from watching this on uh, but screen. Dave Aztecs. I mean, this is this is what we always discuss when we're talking about melee. But like, Aztecs do tend to have better units. It's just melee have the better timings. I feel like running could have gone for anything there, though. Yeah, like, I agree. I, in that situation, I don't even think it was the Karambits. Like it, we saw it yesterday with the two-handed swordsman. Saw it today with the Karambits. I think he could have gone Arbalist and been fine. I mean, like he's just in such a better position economically, map control with the relics, everything. Two monasteries was never the play there. <laughs> yeah. Just never. Like two monasteries versus light cap when you don't have protection is not a great idea. I but think... running also made it look very easy. Yeah. All right. So we're going on to one of Yo's home maps. So fortify clearing or bypass. I'm going to get another cup of coffee. Sure. Go for it. All right. Looks like it's going to be Jungle Rumble next. So that's the perfect uh, game to have more Yo, Megadad, for, thank you for the 46 the months, for dude. Crazy. One Jungle Rumble, Gringer I think, has been my favorite map so far. Um, shout out to Bypass, though. We, I, 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 of course, love Bypass from some of the Hidden Cup days, but I don't remember any like outstanding Bypass games from this event, only because I haven't covered a ton. I'm sure people will be able to talk about some. Um, it's crossing off some maps. Yeah, score 2-2 in the final, guys. That's exactly what you'd want, right? Running, losing on Fortress, winning on Arena. And then, yo, losing on Zewal, and then winning on Hideout earlier. Yeah, Jags would have been cool there. Like, Jags are probably never something you're going to see in that matchup because Malay pushed so quickly. But yeah, of course, like an army of Arbalest, Skirmisher, Jaguar Warriors should be very strong against anything Malay can make. Yo didn't give himself or do himself any favors with how he played Castle Age, though. Running has Cumans. Cumans. Uh, Italians, Italians. Vietnamese, Mongols, and Chinese. Wait, did he play Chinese? No, he didn't play Chinese. Okay, Mongols, Chinese. Sorry, I didn't. I, I never keep up with crossing things off. I'll do it like every three games. I'm getting better at it for sure. Getting better. You know, loses with Aztecs again. Do you think next time he plays in an arena tourney, he just won't value Aztecs as high? I think, because... <laughs> I think he, honestly, from what I've seen in those two arena games, he probably went into those games thinking, this is a loss. I'm just going to play it out. Yeah, but why, why do you draft the Civ you play on arena first in the semifinal and then third in the final, if that's how you see it? Like, if I see a game or a map is a loss, I don't draft civilizations early for it. Uh, maybe he wants to deny them from his opponent. Yeah, maybe. 
I don't think I think it's less about like just picking it there and more about like I don't want him to have Aztecs either with his clown ways. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. I'll have to ask you at some point. <laughs> I mean, at, at there's also the yo factor. Like yo is a strategist. He plays in a lot of tournaments. He's very competitive, but he also has this streak where sometimes he just does things cuz he doesn't care. You know? <laughs> like sure. yo is a very kind of laid back type of guy. And that's his personality. So maybe he just, I don't know. He just felt like drafting Aztecs. So here's my question. Running drafted Cumin's third. We have Fortified Clearing, Bypass, and Jungle Rumble as the remaining maps. Which map will he pick Cumin's? Because we have to assume he may do so if he picked the Civilization third. Um... Can you do it on Fortified Clearing? Can you 2TC boom there? I think you can. Should be able to. I don't if think you, you can you on add, the other maps. If you add scouts early, like think about adding scouts in like Feudal to stop the monks from coming out and taking the relics. Yeah. And then you just like delayed Castle Age and then you add the monks. I think maybe. I wonder if he was debating doing it on Fortress and he might just not pick humans at all. Because like, for bypass, let's see. Actually, let's start on Jungle Rumble because that's going to be up next. We've seen Monk and Siege Civs dominate, so I think Yo could go for Lithuanians, maybe. In theory, Burmese or and Saracens could also work with that strategy. Um, I don't think you can two TC on Jungle Rumble. You don't want more villagers stuck in the middle. I don't think, and I don't think you want the three villagers on the outside building a TC. I've seen Cumans on Jungle Rumble. Okay, was, so did they uh, go two TCs in the middle? Uh, no, they went uh, fast up into scouts on the outside to clear it up. And then second TC in the middle. Okay. Interesting. I mean, if you add, if you add more villagers, the odds that you cut to the outside faster is there. Which might mean if you have to escape, you can. You can't build that third, that second TC on the outside. It takes way too long with only three. Yeah, bills. with three vills, it would take forever. It yeah. takes forever. Ominous, I'm watching you. Yo Don't bully Casaro. I think it's Burmese funny too. I think here. it's actually. I think it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I'm not saying I like it. I feel like every time I see I just, the Burmese, there was even so if many they win, it's like flying around. Not necessarily. Because I had of their to get units, involved. You know, unless they're up against like goths or something. I guess we'll find out. It looks like they've started now. Uh, yeah. Just guessing before we look at it, I think we'll see Lithuanians versus Italians. Wrong. <laughs> Super <laughs> Omega wrong. <laughs> okay, I tried. Wrong. Mongol Saracens. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Good, good matchup. Oh, I like shoot. This. They. I thought it was Jungle Rumble. No. Oh, Fortified well, okay, so remember sure my guess then. you did. No, I, it said it Jungle Rumble in the lobby for a long time, so okay. I must have switched it. But anyways, here we are. Game game well, five, it was, Dave. It was Yo's home map, so it was never going to be Jungle Rumble. I don't know what you were thinking about. Oh, well, it just said it on the dashboard. That's all. Ah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're did not going to see Did the then. dashboard say anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you need to settle, okay? <laughs> I just got Mongols. another cup of coffee, dude. I was falling asleep. Now I'm awake. Yeah. I banned one no, of my I mods. It's perfect. Fantastic. Nice. I um I had this. It's called Super Coffee, which sounds super lame, but it's like uh you know one of those uh canned coffee beverages. Yeah, it's not mine. It's it in the fridge with my girlfriend. She then who's to drink the, it. Oh, so, okay, okay. Yeah, so you know she's not here. So hopefully she's not looking for it when she gets home. But uh, it's awesome, man. I've been wired for like four hours, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I just remember that when they find your body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I know it's not like. I, I, I think with this, I'll be fine. But like certain leftovers, yeah. it's just like, you don't touch it. Otherwise, you're dead. So yeah. <laughs> that goes with me as well. Like, how did he die? He was trying to do chin-ups from the third story. I did <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Well, Saracens is not something I expected here at all. Mongols makes a little bit more sense because this map does tend to take you late game. But yeah. even still, I don't think I've ever seen Mongols on this on this map. So it's a nice little off-meta and uh, uh Civ match up here. One thing we have to say about the Mongols, their monk tech tree sucks. 
Yeah. It really sucks. It's bad. It's awful. Yeah, and, I, and Saracen monks are pretty good, but Yo is not so good at, at using monks. So I think that this will be more so like very weak monks going out, trying their best mm -hmm. to get relics, and then scouts protecting it. Yo is very good adding in monks to a push that already has like four other units. Yeah, like some exactly. Knight, siege, monk, pike shenanigans going on on the side. He's uh, he's pretty good with that. But the monk only battles. I don't think he's that much of a fan. Still, Saracens have a lot of options. I don't know who I favor here. Mongols or Saracens? They're kind of like on equal terms for me. They're kind of very similar civilizations in a way. Like they to get to their ultimate composition in Imperial Age takes a long time for them, but they do have mm -hmm. a lot of power spikes along the way. It's interesting. I mean, Saracens will definitely have more options, but running's going to go change this game. He's going go to try rush. what he did in the hideout game, and he's going to go forward. Yeah, this is going to be like kind of what Yo had done to Valis, I think. Look at that pathing. Path Look at that villager pathing. That villager is supposed to be going forward. Do you I see mean, that? Also, look at Yo's deer villagers. Like, ooh, where are they going? Yeah, but that's not that's not the game. That's Yo. Yeah, <laughs> I actually don't know why he's out there. But yeah, I've, I I got really heated because I've been experiencing that a lot recently with our quote unquote updated pathing. But yeah, running's gonna go forward and apply pressure to walls that are only a thousand HP. So this is a legit strat. And tower on the hill position right there with an archer range behind. Yo, we'll see this because of the gate line of sight, I believe. Yep. It's so weird how gates have bigger line of sight than a wall. Kind of makes sense. But I mean, I guess if you no were to position men on the walls, you would put them near yeah. the gate, right? Yeah, but there's also no humans on any aspects of the wall. So in theory... Unless there's like an outpost, which we have to assume there's a guy inside of. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, gates no. are gates are taller. Good point. But gates are also not sentient, Panda One. So th having them see things is a bit weird. AWE logic is interesting. It is. AWE logic is is really interesting. Let's just say that. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not like Yo is going fast castle here. So this is actually good for him because he can play into archers. And he should be able to defend from this. Yeah, and he doesn't have four idle villagers forward doing stuff. Yeah, right? exactly. Playing pure defense here. Also, he has cheaper market and uh, less taxes on his market income. So, mm -hmm. should have the advantage. Nice little wall off to behind, what... too. That's really nice. It, it, like, no resources in range except that stone if running goes for a yep. tower there. Yeah, I'm curious to see what running does after he runs in here and sees a range with a flag on it. He might make another tower uh, near the gate. That way he has uh, more freedom to move in close to these houses. But clearly he's a little hesitant. You don't want to build it too far forward because the archers could get on the other side of you. And Yo's going to make a counter tower, actually. Yeah. And running's going to see that now. Yo can harass the villagers, too. But running has two archers of his own. Neither player with fletching yet. Yo opts for that first wood upgrade in front of that. And running actually has a a better food eco behind. I mean, Yo only has four on food right now, but I guess he has the market with Saracens. And he has he has five sheep that he is yet to take. Ah. Okay. So that's an option for him. But I mean, I, if you think about Mongols, they always want to have space so they can boom into Mangadai. And I think Saracens with the market shenanigans could always go for some crazy forward plays. Sloppy and so I don't know if this archer. is as much about killing Yo. I think this is just about holding map control. Mm -hmm. And we saw it, Yo do it yesterday with the Bulgarians, right? Yep. Where he That's an interesting lumber camp outside from Yo as well, where he kind of just set up the towers around and protected those relics for a long portion of the game. Was Yo Yeah, why is he out there? I think maybe he took a deer or something and then... That's very know. weird. It's not like he was going to send villagers to the outside and tower rush, right? Yep. Another tower from running. Running's being really annoying, which is precisely what you need to do here. Repair. Also, uh, he's sending archers into the tower, which he always as well. Uh, that way, you don't have as many idle villagers. It's like one of those classic arena games where when you cast it, you're like, there's no reason there should be a double tower stack in the middle of this area. There's no reason. It's not adding any value. It's not denying anything. And yet, it keeps the other player busy for such a long time. That's the value yep. it's adding, right? It's buying you yep. so much time. 
And running doesn't get that tower down because Yo went for the second tower first. And now running, well, he's running away. I don't like that tower. He, This is a mistake. He loses yep. a vill. Yep. I, I think he... I actually don't know when Fletching came in for you. Let me tab up. Oh, that doesn't show it on the tab. I'm stupid. Oh, and but this like, one's in range too. Oh, my God. Yeah. But this is all because of Yo's feudal time. So I don't know if Yo was going to go... I think my gut tells me that Yo was actually going to go feudal pressure in some way, which is why he was up as quickly as he was. And the four villas outside, probably. Yeah. He's probably going to yeah. go through the backside. Dude, Saracen archers combined with... You know, a couple villagers on a wall. Yeah, it could surprise somebody. And there's always the option for that now. Yo still has those villagers out there. He's got the archers now, and he's gonna. Well, he's gonna push out to the middle. Running is trying to make towers around Yo's base to keep him inside. Yo has the archers at the front. He loses the scout. Saw that running has more archers than him, and he's gonna back up for the time being. Running will take control over that area, but I think Yo is gonna go for that push at the back. Maybe in Castle Age now, right? Like maybe because your your resources I mean, are gonna start the, getting closer sell to Castle. The wood, if nothing else, right? If you're yo, yeah, yeah. Maybe make like three farms because you don't you don't want to have zero, but then you can buy and sell some resources. Here come the archers. I wonder if you can. Yeah, can you're you right. Tower hop into running space. There is tower hopping still a thing. I, I haven't tried it in a long time. I think you can still do it when it's a gate and a stone wall combined. But, I mean, then again, I, I've also seen, and here come the Vils, I've also seen, like, a fully completed wall be between a uh, tower oh, yeah, and, and then villager, you just, and then you villager just hop, hop over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it seems like it's not... Before there used to be reasoning, now I think it's just inconsistency. I feel like you don't even need to tower hop this, though. Running is sending the scout over that way. Hmm. So, I don't know if he... Is he going to spot this? He does have a Mongol scout. Yeah, he'll see this. Nice he saw the job. archers move away, nice and, and he doesn't see the archers in the middle. So he does lose that scout though. That's gonna not be nice for contesting relics later. I want to see how fast this gate goes down or walls go down to the Saracen archers. I think it's gonna be enough that running's gonna have to respect it. It'll still take a few minutes, but you don't have army here, so yeah, running has to start towering. This is funny. Yo goes for another outpost on that side. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, running realized that Yo would place a tower kind of where he is right now. And now running has a better tower, so Yo is going to tower on the other side. Still a bit interesting, this game. Again, I haven't seen Mongols versus Saracens before. And this is this is weird. The backside archer tower rush. Yep. I like it, but it's different. Yo is buying food. Food counts very similar for the two players, but running is... Doing this all organically, not with the use of the market. And he's had 12 farms for a while. So as long as he can hold against this pressure from Yo at the back, he should be up mm -hmm. sooner. That's a good tower I think from it's Yo. worth it when you make it up. I think you add one staple. Ooh, another tower from Yo. Running might be tempted to go rush that down, but he can't do so because unless he has archers. And yeah. actually, no, no, no. You send your archers there. Oh, Ooh. hide the fact you have archers. Don't show Yo. Don't show Yo. Be sneaky. It's kind of hard to be sneaky because Yo he has already a lot of vision. Him. He already showed him. Yo oh. is now running away. He's making a house <laughs> on that gate. What? Come on, dude. He could delete it. Oh, man. This, yo, send your archers out of your tower, man. Try and defend these villagers. I mean, he's going to... He should lose two. Lose two. Yeah. Ne oh, oh, one. Well, he loses one. Okay, this, that's not that bad. It's not that bad. Also, running means to repair his tower on the front right now. And there he does. What a weird game. Just weird. Very weird. I like Honestly, it. Honestly, the finals it, have been the, the finals have been a little weird compared to the semifinals. I do some well, ways. It's hard to compare to yesterday, though. Yesterday we had some of the <laughs> most fun games I've watched in a long time. So yeah, yeah, we yeah. still we still have some games left here. I mean, we've got three games left, and this one's not a bad game by any means. It's just it's strange. I don't know what to say. I like strange. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think, I think it's good. We're surely going to see siege for running because he's got, he's not added a stable and he's got plenty of wood. Makes sense with the double tower on the back. Uh, but you can't go siege defensively and siege offensively at the same time. So he's going to have to make a decision there. And he does actually add the stable too. I like that a lot. 
It feels like one villager shouldn't be able to repair that amount of damage that Yo is doing. To oh, he's only got two vills in that one tower. That makes sense. Okay. I mean, it's a big hammer, man. It's a really big hammer. Yep. He's slam booing that tower right there. <laughs> Dude, I just realized that there's like an entry. There's like a door at the bottom of this feudal age Mongol tower, but it's like half the size of the villager. They'd have to get in their hands and knees to get in there. Yep. That's how you get in a tower. Now I gotta look at the other one. What? The other towers have tiny doors too? Yeah, they've always had tiny doors, bro. What? I guess the archers are a bit tinier, but man, that's a really short door. Anyways, uh, Yo's in castle. These castle age up times are pretty good. And Yo will go for a siege work. Yeah, I just felt that. <laughs> if Yo has a forward position, has to go for a siege workshop, and I don't hate it. I like it. It's gonna force uh, running to come back here, and Yo has, what, 10 archers inside those towers? He mm -hmm. can upgrade the crossbows and help protect that area. Running is walling in the north side. He's still got his tower alive on Yo's the front of Yo's base, and Yo is going for guard tower and not messing around this here. This is so good. Yo's going to be able to defend himself with guard tower yep. and also deny his opponent's only yep. gold in his base with guard tower. This is amazing. There's like no possibility of night pressure once guard tower comes in with those archers. The Manganel isn't going to be able to take out these towers. Running will now have to go to the front with his villagers, which is, I guess, fine because Yo doesn't really have anything to hit that. Mm -hmm. But he does have crossbows at home. Oh, the villager, the repair vill for running just got sniped on the front right next to the door. He kind of like fell into the doorway we were talking about. And Yo's going to be through that gate pretty soon. Saris and archers, by the way, so plus siege. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what running should do. I, it's going to be tough for him to defend at home, but he can accomplish that. Does he buy a castle? Can you do that? Yeah, I think castle on Yo's face, but even then it's like, where do you place it? That I feel really like you could you could even Yo. buy a castle for defense at home, can't you? Well, yes and no, because you don't want to react, react, react. I know it's like a slower game, so it's not quite like the reactions we talked about in Arabia, but you've already taken damage. You kind of want to dish some out. And oh, big shot. Nice. Very well done. Loses it, but it's worth, and he's got another one in there. Another tower for Yo. I like that. Continuing the tower pressure with guard towers. Cutting off the farms. Slowly secure that gold and slowly secure a position that your army can attack from. Seems really, really nice. Running is now getting oh. the relics from the center. Ooh, Yo hits the Manganel. So running is going to need the next one to land. There's and now it's castle. a defensive castle. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. But it's, it's going to be risky here. Manganel out from running, and he gets it. Okay, he can get that castle up now. Yeah. Well, there is the guard tower, which he has to be worried about. Uh, still a lot of villagers that aren't working, and there's a guard tower on the right side, too. But yeah, you got to think it's going to go up. It's just a matter of how much he loses before it completes. Oh, loses some more. Doesn't quite get that shot off with the Manganel. He will kill this Manganel, though. And yo... We'll just have to be content with however many villagers he kills here. And that's two more vills. Mm -hmm. And the towers still stay up. That's what sucks. Like, I think... I'm not sure about the one that has crossbows in it right now, but it's certainly the one I mean, that if you, is still going to stay if up. If you are running, you're getting access to the, what, five relics in the center? Yeah, and true. And you're, you're yeah. getting access to the golds in the center as well. If you can stop Yo from pushing out with the crossbows like he's doing right now. So, Ooh, yeah. theoretically, you don't really need that stuff at the back just yet. Oh, man. I think Yo is making a mistake trying to use crossbows to take out a tower. Like, those crossbows need to be looking for the golden stone in the middle. This is going to give running time to deal with that. Send some siege to the middle and get the town center up there on the stone. <laughs> I wonder if we can get ourselves a situation. We're running... Can't find like a safe wood line. <laughs> I guess yeah, there's I know, right? more than enough range <laughs> between these, uh, the outside and the inside, but. I mean, he's losing lots of ground on the outside. That tower is going to go up there for Yo. Yep. And that is annoying. And also, as I mentioned before, the two towers next to the siege workshop for Yo, they're going to stay up. Yo's got a they lot can be shot of gold. Down. He's got a lot of gold. Is he thinking imp? He's thinking imp. And he's thinking maybe castle as well. So push Damn. down the middle. You hold the back and you push in the middle. That's wild. 
also Sar just Saracen things with that market. Well, I mean, he did have 1,400 gold in the bank. <laughs> like, you can do a lot. I like it. No matter what civ you are. So that means he's going to get a castle. And yeah. is he going to build the castle with the two villagers he has left? I think no. he has to, right? No, you make it in the middle and push down the center. Because you're already well, covering you no your army. opponent. You're already covering your opponent at the back. Yeah, but he's got no army. He can't go to the middle. He's, he's got four crossbows there. He's still got the <laughs> archer range there. He's sending them around the side. Okay. No, he's sending the, that to gold. I think he's going to drop a castle with two vills. <laughs> I think that's his play. It's oh, my God, as it is. bro. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, running's vill count is, is going to be looking better and better because of the three TCs. I honestly, he also could maybe try and get to imp. I don't know. I, I think maybe if you still keep some on stone, you put the next castle in the middle, I guess. Well, I think what he can do is he can build up as he adds a stable, which is very odd. But um, I think what he can do is he can use whatever army he makes after he forces running more towards the middle to control the mid. But like, more villagers he's got 13 crossbows, one monk, one siege. And okay, those builds are going to help with the castle, I guess. If they don't path right through the castle fire. If Yo destroys that gate, those builds might go right through that castle. I don't know how many of them are going to be hit, but... Yeah, I think he'll be okay because I don't think the pathing changes unless okay. they're retasked. Right. I think it will still take the original path. And running is up. However, it's likely that he will lose TCs and or a castle from the trebuchets from Yo. Oh, he's up in that TC. Clever boy. <laughs> Don't go up with your TC mm. in the middle. Yeah, which... Sorry, I didn't actually check that. Yeah, yeah, the middle one. Yeah. He should have outpost in the middle. He does have some decent vision from his buildings. And he's got a knight on that gold. But he really needs to keep a close eye on the mid. GG. And running taps out. What? He must have thought Yo had a much better eco than he did. He must have put Yo on two TCs earlier than he was. Yeah. Because, like, there's no reason. If running knew what Yo's eco situation was right now, he wouldn't have tapped out, I don't think. Dude, yeah. I mean, you'd like to see him continue there. I mean, he would have the stone to repair his castle. Yeah. He does have four relics. That is a very questionable GG for me. Yeah, that's an early one for sure. The it's score's like high, obviously, for Yo, but, like, I'd like to see a little bit more fight there in a final. <laughs> like, you know Yo doesn't really have army at home. And yeah. you see the I, army from him forward because it's attacking your walls. It's not that impressive. And there's only one castle with, like, how many vills now? The seven villagers to repair? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it would have been awkward. It would have been a fight. And I think you could even lean towards Yo having an advantage right now with this position. But I don't think it's necessarily it's a... It's not a GG absolutely position. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's easy for us to say, I think running, you know, if he ever rewatches this or hears about it, it's going to be like, dang, I should have continued to play, but... Uh, Yo's not going to complain about it. Yo turned defense at his base into some offense on the back of his opponent's base, mm -hmm. denied two golds, and went fast him and got the win. That was sick. Hmm. Interesting. So what was the total resources collected there? It game? was just ahead for running. Yeah. Which makes sense, right? Because Yo had a lot on gold. But running had stone, running had golds. He had food, he had wood. I mean, Mongols are a bit awkward if they don't have a castle, but still try some stuff there. Very weird. All right, so before this next game starts, I have a very important question for you and anyone who's listening. I want to know what you guys think I should do. Okay? Okay. Yep. So, long story short... I hate when you open with that, because it's never... I got it, well, it's always a long... My, my short stories are always very long stories for the average person. True. Okay. But, but it's not... Trust me, it's not that involved. So I received flowers from uh, my realtor today. Didn't know what was happening. Received flowers from my realtor. Really nice because like a year ago, whatever, I moved in my new place. Yeah. They're very nice flowers. Like really nice flowers. And in the flowers is a note that's like, you know, blah, 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 blah. I didn't actually even read the note. I assume it's nice. My girlfriend's coming home this evening. I haven't seen her in like four days. Oh, you're thinking about using the flowers as like, you're going to re-gift the flowers to your girlfriend? I'm just saying it no, crossed my no, mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> I wouldn't actually do that. No. But I was like, hmm. No, no. But this, this has given you an idea what you should do in two weeks time when those flowers are dead. 
you should <laughs> just spontaneously get her flowers at some point. Well, yeah. It's reminded you. It has reminded me. It's true. Yeah. But now I got to beat this, these flowers. These are really good <laughs> flowers, man. Suddenly, I'm spending way more on flowers. But yeah, it, was, it crossed my mind. I was like, hmm, what can I do with these flowers? Oh, I could look like the nice guy. Delete this clip or she is going to kill you? No. I mean, obviously, if I, if I was ever going to do something like that, which I wouldn't, I would not tell viewers because you guys are a bunch of snitches. Okay? Yeah. Like, whether it's like, I'll say, like, don't tell Dave I said this. Two minutes later, Dave's getting a tag. Mm -hmm. He just said this, and it mm -hmm. goes both ways. So yep. I can only imagine. But we trust you guys. So, Lithuania needs Cubans. Jungle Rumble. It's the Ooh, Rumble in so the Jungle. Cubans. Great name. Best name in the, of all the maps in this uh, event. Mm -hmm. And it's a very interesting map. As we see three villagers on the outside, and then we have a full eco on the inside. There's a scout on both the outside and the inside, and yo... Instead of walling in his goats like many players do to prevent the lames, he has just sent them to the corner of the map and he says, hide here. Hide <laughs> here, my darlings. I will be back yep. for you later. Yeah, the, the whole walling in approach is really fascinating because it's mm -hmm. such a tiny little detail. And Yo gets loom right away for those Oh, that's on the also outside. something that's interesting too. Yeah. Because you almost always run into... Oh, he's also going to stone right away, Dave. What? He's not going to take the hunt? So he's going to go... Is it this, like, FC castle drop? Castle play? drop. No, that's actually so good. Because normally we, we say castle dropping is impossible in early castle because you don't have the stone, but that's only because the players always take the hunt. Yeah, it's it's so good, except uh, running is going to know exactly what he's doing as soon as he scouts this. So... If running can't stop it, it's fantastic. Or counterplay yeah, to yeah, it, it's yeah. fantastic. But this will tell running exactly what's up if he sees the stone. However, running is playing as humans. So what do you even do to stop that? Yeah, exactly. It's one of those things you know about, but can you do anything about it? Yeah. We should see the feudal age click for running. Now, this is weird on so many different levels. I think this is a tower rush, actually. Because you don't go up. Oh, pop 16 popular. Yeah, stone. this is a tower rush. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, is... I, I actually like the FC and the castle drop play more I agree. than the tower rush. I think it gets you more. I think tower rushing someone who goes two TCs is actually quite poor. Um, but I guess you can actually, I guess you can tower rush down the middle. You can also add towers along their wood line at the back. Yeah, but that's a lot of towers. Yeah, I guess. Yo is now on gold. He's making barracks on the back side, on the outside. I don't know what in the world Yo is doing. This is very confusing. <laughs> Do you to me. think he knows this what is he's so doing? Weird. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> this is like this looks like it's the first time he's played the map and he's trying everything. <laughs> what? Uh, we were getting so hyped for a strategy <laughs> that just was never part of the plan. I mean, listen, we're not crazy, okay? The right play would have been Castle Drop here. I think that would have been sick. He's going to go Archer range. So, yeah, he's going to go, like, Tower, Archer in the middle. Okay. But I actually do like Archers in the middle more than I like Archers on the outside. I also and you are right that maybe you Tower the back wood line then. I kind of like making the Barracks on the outside, too. So you have the Spearman to deal with any scouts that running might yeah. send along yeah, with humans. Yeah, that's not bad. And your fast Spearman can kind of get over to the villagers and start harassing Yo, them Yo, kill a that bit. scout. Yo, kill that scout. There you go. He's attacking the scout. It shouldn't die because I think running will be able to get away once he's in feudal. Yeah. I mean, you do delay. What's good for Yo about this is that it's right on the berries. Like, he's super fortunate that the berries are on the front like that. I don't think that's consistent Bro, every time. Yo just keeps switching back and forth between stone and gold on the outside. To, to, <laughs> he needs to afford his towers and his archers. <laughs> and then he's got two villagers getting gold next to his town center with oh, no mining no, camp. Dude. More surprising than I think the villagers on the outside will stay on stone. I think he's got are, that. Is running going to make the second TC on the outside here? No. Built so slow. Okay, yeah, you gotta, you gotta build it with middle. more villagers, but... But, I mean, he's building with three in the middle, so... Now, will running find stone? Because running needs stone to make any counter yeah. towers. Oh, the villagers! They found stone. Let's see, is he gonna take the stone? 
I'll place the perfect mining camp. Oh, for the right people. there, right there. Come on, right there, right, right there. You got it, right, right. There. What the? I, why make? A... And he, to be fair, he did get like really badly housed there. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, but that's gonna mess up your perfect mining camp. Uh, come on, perfect mining let's, camp. Let's see. Well, he also needs wow. to kill Yo's scout, so he's got a couple jobs. Yo's probably not paying attention to that. That's awesome for running. That's epic. And he's gonna yeah, get he'll it kill that scout. Minutes. Yeah. And now the mining camp. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's good. It's could've, not great though. Could have been better. Yo is okay. in. Yo is in. And Yo is cutting he's off the food the supply. Bills. Running has zero on food with the second TC coming up right now, Tristan. True. That is the bear Losing the berries was the worst possible thing. You would prefer to lose a gold, stone, wood, yeah. but losing the berries is the worst thing about this. That's awful. Doesn't have a market to buy anything. He's going onto stone, like we said, to get some towers and defense. And the TCs are going to help defend here, but he's going to have to find safe space to make his, uh, his farms. And the fact the villagers on the outside had to look for stone is actually kind of bad because they should have been taking food. So he can mm -hmm. make bills from these TCs. Um, it's going to be really rough for him. Uh, Yo's approach making more and more sense now. But the vill count will so still continue to grow for running. And remember the game from Yo yesterday where he was Cummins. And it looked really awkward for him. But then he just didn't lose vills. And then suddenly that vill count paid off and he won the game in Castle. Or at least took full advantage in Castle, we should say. Yo almost went for an archer range on the outside. Which is just so far away from those bills, it would have been crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought about it. Yeah, but maybe deleted. if he had his scout, he could be scouting that wood line. So I think one villager heading over there to make a tower would be really good right now. Skirmishers. Oh, okay, hey, this is good from running so far. Don't have also armor, keeping but keeping his scout alive. Yeah, they don't have armor, but I mean, they've killed a significant amount of archers, and Yo has to delete that tower. That tower. It was not to deny the golds there. That tower was to deny the free space in between the TCs to farm. And that's yeah. exactly what running's doing now. That that tower is cleared up. And Yo is just going to take the uh, the berries from running in the center. Okay. I think running should go over and tower that. You don't actually want to give that to him. But I think Yo should be thinking about towering the wood line for running because he's got so many vills. And if he chops out... He's no longer constricted, and he'll have that vill lead. Mm -hmm. hmm. <laughs> By Yo's, the way, like Yo's eco is probably of, so fragile here. Sorry, go ahead. Nah, you're you're good. Um, eighty percent of people agreed with you, but there are some people that are like, yeah, two for one, two for one with the whole flower thing. Oh, yeah. Well, there's I, I think it would be a really dumb move. To, to, to do what I brought up. So. Well, yeah, to bring it up on stream and then do it. Like you can do it. Yeah, of course. Privately, I guess. But then <laughs> then you the problem is that if you lie, even if it's not a direct lie like that, then she's gonna be asking you, Where did you get the flower arrangement? I can't yeah, and I'm yeah, really and then, bad with lying. I can't like, do it. I just get all nervous and ugh. Do the follow up <laughs> questions and she's gonna know something's a little bit wacky there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have it in me, truthfully. Yeah. That tower for running is not exciting me because that does not deny the berries that yo is stealing i don't know the follow-up on this from yo is not exciting me and the initial yeah. pressure was great on the berries we saw running lack of food and he's had idle tc time galore on this but he's still ahead in eco um and he's got farm space now yo Ooh, this is funny went up with 16 bills remember that so his yep. economy behind this was really bad so running scout went over to the stone and the villagers aren't on stone anymore because Yo is now going over to take the zebra. So he's going for the food, which obviously makes sense because he wants Castle Age. I think there's also a chance he might, if he really feels like he needs to get to Castle Age, I think he might sell all that all stone. All that stone, yeah. Just so he could buy food. Which he's got 19 I, on food now, rough. which isn't bad. Did a yeah. good job recovering. But I guess he's got the free berries in uh, running space. Yo has the spearman over by running's mill. He's going to doink the zebra. <laughs> so do you notice how many running has on wood at the moment uh, i mean i know he six. needs farms Ooh, yeah but he's not exactly chopping out which is my point there goes yo he does There's sell some of his stone yeah yep. saves enough for maybe a tc 
And uh, gets Horse Collar, and he's on the way up to Castle Age. And it's going to take running. Well, it's going to take him a few minutes to get up there as well. His eco is starting to look pretty good. And he's uh, nine villagers ahead of Yo when he clicks up to Castle Age. So that'll probably be, I don't know, 15 or something. 16, 17. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the Yo's going to drop the Blacksmith, which means he's definitely going for a Siege Workshop. You do need, for some reason... Uh, to have a blacksmith before siege workshop, even though you don't use blacksmith upgrades for siege workshops, just well, age of empires logic. Think about like use metal for siege engines. Probably need a blacksmith to like do those. I mean, you don't need a blacksmith before you make a stable. And they have swords. Yeah, but like maybe those aren't blacksmiths, or maybe they, you found the swords somewhere. Oh, uh, that's true. I. That happens a lot, actually. Even even nowadays, just finding random yeah. swords. Just find a random sword as you're like... <laughs> Never mind. I was about to make a bad joke. <laughs> um, Castle Age coming in for running, and he wisely chose the back TC. Uh, would have been a disaster choice, potentially, if he chose the front TC. Yeah, my realtor sent me a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thinking I was gonna about say, giving like... it to my scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Is I... I in my mind, again, it's a stupid joke. I was like, I was like, imagine like swords just like pop up randomly. You're like about to go through the security checkpoint in the airport. You're like, oh, what's a sword doing here? Crap, I can explain. Yeah, not again. All right, Siege Workshop inside his base. This running goes up with the back TC there. Running has 56 vills against Yo's 37. And running will go for that Siege Workshop early. I love that. Love it a lot. Yeah, I also would love to see a stable. It's only 100 wood to do so. And yeah, your opponent's going to add monks, but having knights out there could be super helpful underneath the tower and up against Siege. Mm -hmm. He also hasn't escaped yet. And Yo's kept a spearman patrolling back there. Yeah. So the focus is going to be on fighting this. Yo's thinking about blocking him in back there for sure. A okay, first Manganel's on the way. Defender's advantage should be pretty big here. Yo's essentially all inning this at the moment, though he does still have villagers on stone. Maybe he wants a TC. We'll see. Apex, but thank you for the massive 25 villager. The problem is the villagers the can't escape if you start oh to lose ground. Dude, ranches, thank you for the prime as well. Apex, thank Good you repairing so much. here from Yo. He's going to have to continue to do that. There he goes. Even healing up his scout. All this extra HP can be helpful. Early mm -hmm. sanctity as well. Also, his tower having archers inside is is going to be more helpful than maybe. It's just, he it's just at the an moment. annoyance, right? It's a big yeah. annoyance there. And the Manganel is now two Manganels out for Yo, as the first one is on the way for running. Running can pop this out at any side of this siege workshop, and Ro, Yo, Ro, Ro, Yo will uh, be at a disadvantage on the timings. I'm oh. surprised running popped out of that side, but yeah, he's, shot. he's fortunate he got a one for one there. Yeah. Yo is making the tower. The scout can't deny that. And there's just now a stable for running. Can't it deny it, though? Nah, I mean, if... Oh, it's a weak vill. Yeah. No way, yo. Quick wall! Oh! Huh! No! Oh! <laughs> oh, there would have been a counter tower anyways. Yeah. So. Oh, Manganel pops out. Is yo paying attention? Running is. Uh-oh, get close. Boom. That's an important shot there for running. Really is. He saves the Siege Workshop. Another Manganel is going to come out. Yo has Sanctity and Redemption, though. So nice. running will delete that Manganel rather than risk it being converted. And Yo will be sitting there with 5 HP, wondering if there's any more units he can convert as running goes for double stable behind this. Triple, actually, because he's going to have. He has the other one. It's just everything's so clumped. And he takes out another it. Manganel. That monk is weak, though, and running didn't notice the monk was weak. He forgot about it. And he and can you the imagine, Mangano. though, if he had, like, three scouts with the last two siege units he popped out? Yeah. Like, he would have killed the monks, his siege would be alive, and he'd have a massive lead in this game. He's now really prioritizing chopping out. <laughs> He's yeah, very yeah, interested yeah. in escaping. Yo is going to take care of that scout with the spearman, and Yo is sending more villagers over there, and he can actually, like... Stonewall this even with the towers. I think he could stonewall the edges. So mm -hmm. even if running yep. gets out, it's gonna be a problem Yeah, I just wonder if he's gonna notice that and we are seeing the like have upgrade right now for running who doesn't have as many farms as he used to mm -hmm. 
So that's not going to be so easy. But I, I do not see Yo breaking him uh, with this push. Yo does just simply does not have enough siege at the moment. And there's only three monks. Yo goes for a tower back there behind the outpost. Just out of range. Running does not have fletching, by the way. Okay. Ooh, and, look at oh, the, he, found the, the, he found the stealthy Maganel on the other side. Yo sees yeah. that. He's, Running's like, oh, God. But Lightcap destroys this, Dave. It should anyways. I mean, you could get some attack rounds and you should get could get some conversions. Yo still, does see still one stable with forward. his outpost. Still is the archers there. Yeah. Still still has three monks. Oh, he's also going to try and convert. And he might convert the market and the barracks. That would be super annoying. The barracks would be really useful for him here against the light cav. Hmm. Interesting. See, the light cav, it looks like they want the outer ring right now. Oh my god, running let him have that. Yeah. And Spearman immediately from Yo in the middle. Out he of the barracks, his, he just converted. Yeah, he <laughs> had his barracks at the uh, on the outside, and running is now not even concerned with fighting this army on the inside. His light cap are ready to go once they chop through the back wood line. But now he's thinking about it, repositioning them a little bit. Yo has a tower out there. Yo is just putting on all sorts of pressure. Oh my god. Running's being too really patient, but is it too patient? Because Yo has had time to scout what's happening. He's taken out the town center now, and he's got so much siege. And Yo you also can't have. delete those buildings now. If they were yours, you could delete them. So the pathing wouldn't be awkward against the siege here. Yo does him a favor, I think, and deletes that market. But he's going to go for the siege oh! workshop. Running only gets one mangonel before the mangonel is converted. I thought he was going to get all three there. I think he got two. Uh, there here were come the light cav. And they get through for now. Spread out, spread out. the villagers well. too. Oh my god, it's a YOLO play from running. He's trying oh, to take everything out with the light cav. And he's going to take out all of the mangonels here. He's going to take out all of the archers. Lots of idle villager time here for him. But he doesn't care. He's just going to kill everything on this side. 78 bills against 50. Yo is still keeping him out at the back. And he's killing villagers with that tower. Like the whole time it, we thought running was going to try and escape but look at running running has a vision on the back side of yo's woodline he must have converted a veil there walled up the he lumber did. camp yeah but running's actually going to push yo like yo yo might need to escape now we thought wow, he was running wild. but he's not no he, he wanted the gold in the middle just makes sense in the situation as yo goes for fervor for faster monks but uh He's going to need that pikeman day, but his eco is atrocious. He's got 52 villagers versus 80. Mm -hmm. Do not see that being good enough at the moment. Still no town center on the outside either. Yo has kind of kept running out for the time being. But running still has those villagers, and he's going for stables on the outside here, Tristan. Yep. Running does have a lot of idols. I mean, he's going to fix that. But he just had about 20, 30 idols, so he had, does have to sort that out. They have Pikeman. Uh, Yo has no upgrades on the Pikeman, but Pikeman is a good choice. It's definitely his best choice. Should for the be time over, being, though, right? Like, it's yeah. another I mean, example of trying to push the Cumans early, not killing them, and then just dead. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a really. I don't want to say it's an imbalance sieve, but it's really tricky, man. Like, yeah. for some players, they win. Uh, Sorry, they lose with them and they lose against them. Um, and I don't know. Like, the more I see it at a high level, it feels like the players that pick them really know how to play them every time. Mm -hmm. Running's got 26 on food. I mean, he could go straight he knights against these pikes in, in the theory. middle for Yo. I guess he needs the gold. He's running out at, at home, right? He's trying to chop through here, but running has those stables and he's going for knights on the outside. And there's the castle from running and Kipchaks, while I don't really like them, they will do well against the pikemen. Yep, they will do very well here. And a little bit easier to use in Siege too because uh, the monks are out with redemption. Mm -hmm. Also, great quick walling there from running to stop the pikemen from running through that gap. Now he's just gonna run in the gate by accident. But it should be okay there. He can lose the mangonel, kill the pikemen. And then he has gold secured in the middle, Dave. He's still got his two TC eco. He still can't escape to the outer ring as he's chopping more to the right-hand side of that wood line. Yep, and he's getting a TC on the outer ring. So even if he doesn't escape, he's still going to have presence there. Yeah. Actually, he he's chopped through, so he can he can just go right now. And the second Yo chops through, 
there could be light cab waiting for him. Oh yeah, on that wood line, which is not. I, I know Yo saw the monks, but I don't think Yo is gonna expect any light and cab. And he's there. through. I'm surprised running didn't have anything waiting over there. Yeah, Yo I would have liked to see an outpost. Yeah, I, I'm surprised he didn't outpost that. But obviously, he's been doing a lot of other things. Okay, running going up to imp. What? What, <laughs> dude? Oh my what? god. <laughs> Dang, I mean, we shouldn't be surprised maybe because it's humans, but still, yeah. that's impressive. That's really nice. And Yo is going for a siege workshop, so he's going to try and pressure this stuff on the outside. I mean, it's it would be good to clear all this stuff up, but now it's open. You can see that it's open, I think, if you're Yo on the backside of running's base. So killing this stuff isn't going to get you all that much. Well, he does. he will deny the TC, which is... Very nice. I, I think running will try a quick wall here, but I think it's unlikely. And Yo's gonna um, click up to Imp. What? How? <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> he does actually. And he's gonna. You need to delete the stables there. And oh god, look at all the houses for running in the south and the market. That's all gonna be converted, and he has to delete it all. That's so painful. Could be housed for days. He could be housed for days. And the relics. But how do there you too? stop? Nice. How do you stop like Kip check Treb in the middle? Yeah, I don't know. From running. But that's the thing, is like you escape, but then you you're just gonna have to send everything out of there. Yeah, I don't know. After am for running's a really good choice. Yo actually was housed and then converted the house. That's fun. Big. It's gonna be his third market of the game, I think, if he converts this. We've seen more markets converted on Jungle Rumble than probably any other map. Mm -hmm. you, people we usually about just delete lot. them. Yeah. I guess it's because people are constantly being relocated. <laughs> and everyone always needs a market, so. I guess, like, Yo's resources right now are not looking bad at all. He's got 18 on gold. He's got all that gold access in the middle. And he's going to grab the relics from running from that monastery. But yeah, the question yep, yep. for me is, like, what do you make? Yeah, I mean, and he's still 25 bills behind. He'll yeah. still be later to Imp, and he's just going to lose that castle to Capped Ram and Trebs. Like, Running doesn't actually see the castle right now, so he doesn't know that he should open with a Treb. But it should be something he thinks about because the town center's there. You would think anyways. But the fact that he hasn't done it yet, the fact that he hasn't made a Treb yet could be a big talking point. Mm -hmm. And there's his Treb in queue now. Siege Ram. Oh, <laughs> yo can't stop Siege Ram. No. There's no way. Well, I mean, at least for Siege Ram, it's going to be kind of awkward with all these golds. Maybe Yo could, like, wall them out or something and cause yeah, the pathing to be weird for them. But the Trebs are definitely going to be an issue for him. A hundred percent. And he is still only 2TC. Running is 2TC as well, but 88 Vils behind it. And mm -hmm. here comes running. 27 seconds left on that Siege, uh, siege Ram upgrade. Here they come. What does Yo do? Goes well, for the Yo's walls. gonna make yeah. a couple latest. Yeah. And Should... the walls are a smart, a smart choice here. Like he hops you said, out Dave. on the other side and makes walls on the other side. No. Just Does have the Mega No. Uh, unfortunately, Siege Ram still does so much damage that this is all running needs to to get a big boost before his traps finish the job. We see University there in the middle for running. So still no ballistics, still no chemistry. A lot of upgrades he is missing here. And he is primarily producing out of this castle. The castle's but dead. The castle's, the castle's gone. Dead. Yeah. Bye-bye. And now what does Yo do? Yeah, it's really hard for Yo to raid on the outside right now because of all this pressure. So like maybe a skirm switch would, would be the next move for him. But the problem still is not, the 17 like farm, 17 on wood for a skirm yep. switch and you got to get all the text and running takes that one and we go to a game seven here running versus yo wow okay this is sick i mean yo no stranger to game sevens but running rolled through so many big names and has made it to he's brought it back to take it to a game seven against someone like yo this is this is exciting stuff man he's got to be nervous man this is his tournament to lose it feels like at this stage just had now, what a story him like coming through the names that he did and he's finally in a game seven one more to go remember he beat tato in a game seven yesterday too yep. it's not like he he won that one easily he had to face a lot of adversity strategically i still feel like running has been a little bit more sound yep 
Uh, I thought the same against Tato too. It's just at times the execution isn't necessarily there, but the strategy certainly made more sense this time. Cumans, yet again, just like so difficult to stop. Winnians. I, I still think that, I don't know, the tower pressure with like 16 villagers, it felt good at first, but then you realize that Yo has literally no follow up to it because he's only yeah. 16 bills. So it's really, really tough. I think running did a great job adding those skirms and pushing the archers away. If that tower from Yo goes up on the gold, where he initially took the fight with the skirms against the archers, I think running is in a really bad spot because he has nowhere to farm. Yeah, all. I agree. The skirm addition, not only was it really well timed, but it was a lot more successful than I thought with no upgrades. Yep. He got into the right spot. He took the engagement perfectly. And Yo just kind of gave up on, on military from there and just tried to go castle. So, yep. I would have liked to see the, uh, the fast castle and the castle drop approach, though. Because I think if you put the three vills on the stone early enough, you get enough stone just in time or you can buy an extra hundred. And then you have siege faster, right? Like you have siege minutes before your opponent does yep. instead of 10 seconds before your opponent does, which is essentially what happened. But there are other drawbacks too. Like your castle is not going to be as close as the towers were to some of those other resources. Um, but yeah, even still, it, it's something that I thought initially he was going to try. So the final map then will be Bypass. Mm -hmm. uh, Yo's home map. Yeah, it will be Yo's home map. And, and what on Bypass, does he have there's Burmese, Bulgarians, Koreans. Okay. And then we have Italians, Vietnamese, Chinese. Mm. Hey. I mean, I, I love. Vietnamese and Italians. I think it's going to be I, Bulgarians, Italians. Yeah, like Italians have good monks if you need it. They yeah. have awesome archers. They have fully upgraded Hussar. It's cheaper for them to go up to the next stage. Like, I feel like Italians are your best pick. And Italians are very strong against the majority of the picks that Yo could go for. Whereas some of the other ones might not be as strong. I don't... I don't know about Burmese and Koreans here. I think Bulgarians is a solid pick for this map. If I kind of like Koreans if you go tower push and feudal because yeah. the middle area could be really strong. And then you lead that into a lot of all inning. But I would prefer the civilizations that running has remaining, I guess. I just think uh, like even if you go for that tower push through the middle, the opponent usually manages to defend it. And then mm -hmm. you get into a situation where you're both booming up behind. And when I'm thinking about a sieve that I would like, with the wide open spaces on the outside, I think Bulgarians have a lot of options. They got a lot of play. You could go for the early pressure with the towers, and then even if that, that, that doesn't work out, your late game and your mobility is really, really valuable. Yeah, man and arm tower could be stronger. And then, because the issue with Korean towers is that you need to get to castle no for them up. to feel special. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. no follow up. I mean, playing into archers isn't an option if you go Bulgarian. So, like, you could go to the archer build with towers. Yeah. But I think, regardless, I think Yo should go towers in the middle, basically. And remember how running lost against Tato is he didn't build his houses up against the palisade walls when he was trying to go fast castle. So, if he tries fast castle, I really hope that he Wasn't does. Wasn't that, that Yo versus Valis? Was that running versus Tato? That was running versus Tato. Okay. Yeah. okay. It was Aztecs versus Malay. Yeah. So, he'll know now. <laughs> yeah yeah anyway but it good. also was malay this <laughs> is so like malay yeah. arrived so much faster than i think he expected that game good set though i can't believe running is in this position <laughs> like even on a tournament like this his best yeah, result I mean, ever probably yeah and i mean it will continue for him right he's gonna be titans league platinum yep i really think this guy could stay up like that's going to be the talking point with everyone who got promoted from the lower league to the upper league yep. when it comes around ganji like, running i think ganji could stay up for sure and then running could probably do it as well yeah we'll, we'll see man but uh this should be starting soon thanks again everyone for watching thanks again john slow out there for organizing everything i forget the name of of the other person i'm supposed to credit is it like uh and fimo F F M, M M. Nifo. M, M Nifo. M Nifo. M okay. I, I'm always confused where the M is and where the N is. Yes, that, this is the same with me. Yeah. <laughs>
Let's now, see. this map pool has been really, it's, it's been pool. a uh, nice change of pace. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been great. Mifo. His name is Mifo. Okay. Mifo. Oh, so you just remove the E? Maybe it's like when you know him, you say Mifo? Yeah. When you know, but you If you know. don't know him, it's N Mifo. No, I think it's just probably Mifo. Oh, okay. Well, thank, thanks, Mifo. I don't know. <laughs> just don't call him Mofo, whatever you do. <laughs> well, I mean, the tournament's been good, so I won't. But if he doesn't do a good job next time, then. Yeah, Yo picks Bulgarians on fortified clearing, right? On the semifinal. I'm still confused at where Burmese had been play, has been picked here, Dave. Like, that's what's really confusing me. But it doesn't mean you have to play them. Well, I got my Civ picks, right? All right. Okay. So it is Bulgarians for Yo, I assume. Bulgarians, right? Italians, yeah. That's what I thought. All right, sweet. Also, no spectrally from these guys. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Game number seven. Yo playing as Bulgarians, and he's already fighting back with villagers, Tristan. Immediately. Really? It's like, what is this, Black Forest? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, see. well. Running, running forward with his own villas. Yeah, so remember, running got tower rushed by Tato. We just talked about how Bulgarians could go man at arm tower, and he wants to get forward walls down there. Mm -hmm. So it does make sense if he really wants to cancel that strategy out from Yo, but Yo's going to send more villagers. Dude, this, this looks like a Black Forest just game. Like Black Forest. Yeah, this yeah. is like a Rage Forest game. <laughs> now, luckily, they do start with uh, nine villagers, which is the only reason they have five vills yeah, uh, already right out here fighting but uh yo is looking like he might lose a villager there running's gonna try and get that final hit yo is gonna try and run and kill the boar doesn't Go kill come the boar in, but he's gonna get the vill oh got him not a great start there for yo but running lost the scout this might be big yeah the scout the scout definitely allows you to to even things out here uh he's not really using it though i think it's because he's trying to bring in his his rhino as well but we have to keep an eye on one stat and one stat only, and that's idle TC time. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to keep your villagers working. Villager dead for all running this. soon. This Phil's dead. Very well of the scout. I, I don't think Yo should engage with that scout at all now. I think he should really try and keep this thing alive for the long term. Yeah, and put it on the outside. Find out where those relics oh. are and everything. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, Rough. if he gets another Vil kill, he'll probably consider it worth it, I guess. Yeah, he's going to get another Vil kill. Yep. I don't even know whose knife she died to. It was an invisible <laughs> knife. All right, so Yo did bring in a rhino, as did running. This could continue for a long time. Like, all yeah. builders are out the window. <laughs> this is BF now. <laughs> Just for the, for the win. For the, for the final, too. He's like, <laughs> yeah. running thinks he's okay with the amount of bills that he sent. <laughs> yeah. And he might be, because it's going to be seven, six for six, excuse me. Oh, man. And Yo sees more bills, and he's going to run away. This benefits the Italians, though, because you're denying the potential for that strategy in early feudal from Bulgarians, but also it's cheaper to go up to feudal for Italians. So Is Yo going to get this Off a messy eco. Oh, nice block nice there with his own Yo. villager. Beautiful. And he's going to get another one, and running's going to house over that gate. But Yo can simply Ooh. delete the wall and leave. Running lost yep. four villagers already, dude. Four villagers. Four to one. Yo Is has had more it? idle TC time. Let's That's see if Yo gets that rhino. And more bills are on the way from running. <laughs> and <What>? from Yo. <laughs> what? This might be a quick game, man. Beach party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, you, they're just committed at this point. You just got to continue. You don't want to yeah. give up the position. And you've already, like, your whole game has been affected by starting this. So you might as well finish it. Yo's going to lose that bill. Oh, good nice job save. saving that. But he does really have more weak ones than running does. Right yeah, now. I mean, running, running could maybe wall this right now. At this point, you're running out of uh, running out of full HP villagers to send back into the fight. <gasps> he, he's gonna walls. try for it now. Walls. Oh, nope. he doesn't get it. I don't know, yo. Like, do you do you fight this? Because most of the palisades are down. There's a chance of getting trapped yes. in no man's land here. 
I wonder if Yo, because, you know, running's not like another like top 10 player. I wonder if there's a part of him where he's like, the more I fight, the more he idles his TC. Yeah, Sometimes maybe. you think that. I mean, it's not like, this happening, guy can't though. handle it. Because Yo is no, already two, villas, two villagers back on uh, idle TC time, and you can see it reflected yeah, yeah, yeah. in the vill count right now. Like, running has only killed two vills. Yo has killed four. <laughs> and Yo is just sitting here <laughs> waiting. He's just standing oh, my there. God. <laughs> Uh, cause, uh, reminder everyone, you can't wall on the beach train <laughs> with the dead bodies. It, and more vills are- now, he might want to follow this oh up with his my own forward God. wall, too. Yeah, maybe. Oh, oh and running can't get the man. walls down. You also hear the cancel noise, too. You hear the, like, the- whatever. Yeah. I don't know if you can make that noise, but whatever that is. Okay, so do they part ways for now? No, I don't think so. I think Yo's gonna come forward and try and get a wall. I think down running forward. is sending more, yeah. <laughs> and running's on is like, oh, I'm not liking this. Great job from him to rotate in. You dare! Batch of you dare! What's the vill count gonna be when they reach feudal? I think it's gonna be like 30 plus for both. Maybe. I mean, because they're Yo creating, but now, they're not gonna go up. Yo is just now going into farms. Um. He's got the mill on the berries. Running does Ooh, not running have that. Running could get walls running... down. Oh, you're oh, so close. Oh, he could have got it. Running this just is now. awkward for you because he has to make berries. sure that the, the palisades don't get placed. And he doesn't want to be walled out. And okay, so now we've got nine versus eight. And now running has to run away again. Yo's going to lose the villa here? Yep. As we're running. Running loses the villa. Nine versus seven. He's outnumbered. Can you imagine he if more. there was pulls? Yeah, that's yep, why there's they're another banned, vill and though. there's another vill. Can't we just agree, guys, banned. not to do this? All right, why do so many helpless villagers have to die? Oh, does he escape? He does not. Running's escapes though, and running needs to start running away. Yeah, yo, yo can't follow. He will want to, but you do not follow here. Yeah, you need to save that vill. Yeah, and now yo and is oh. gonna uh, try and wall this. Does he go for a gate there to block it off? Does running send more vills out? This is the question. Or does he finally give it up? Does he finally concede the position? He's going out to the side. I like that. He's going oh, out for to the food. side to take That's out really all, that, smart. all that food. Yeah. That is really smart. Wow. Yeah. And Yo, he knows Yo doesn't have a scout because he killed the scout from Yo. Yeah. And here he comes with more vills to stop Yo from walling. Oh, my God. At the same time, as much as I like the villagers on the side, I like the farms from Yo. Yo's got mm -hmm. a lot of farms right now. And it paid off faster than the hunt will on the sides. Running saves a couple more weak villagers. Yo saves a weak villager. Like, oh my goodness. But if you lose this position, if you're running, you're feeling really bad about it because Yo can pressure you anytime. So you can't, you don't know when that pressure is going to come in exactly. Um, and then you aren't able to go fast castle anymore, which is what you would have wanted. And Yo's on the way to feudal. Wow. Oh man, this is, this is going to be quite bad for running, I feel. Let's look at the food income. Uh, food brought in. Yo brought in 400 more food, Dave. Actually, he just was 500 on... more resources in general. It's because he he went and uh, milled the berries way faster, and he also got and the farms farmed. down way faster yeah. than running. I like the idea of running going out here for the hunt. I really like that. That's going to be fast food income now that you're over there. But uh, he was delaying the food coming <clears throat> in for a very long time. Well, look how long it takes him to get out there. Like He's, he's sending gonna four go more. To the other side, yeah. But Dave, the, the stupid thing here, Tristan, is that like now it's all peaceful, <laughs> in the middle, and it's only <laughs> well, one balisade wall. Yeah, it's yeah. only one balisade wall in between. Remember what I said though, prior to the Vill Rush uh, about the possibility of Yo coming forward. Yeah, house walling behind this buys you so much extra time. Mm -hmm. He is placing one house there, but I think Yo is going to be able to uh, at least place some towers here. That's true. It was also house, so that mil second militia coming out is going to take a while. Yeah, he also, Yo kind of showed it, but I think he was just waiting for the time, and now running's coming out with Vils to house wall. So at least he's going to get some foundation. Oh, he's got another mill over in between left. that. Yeah, that's very interesting. I saw the one to the left. It's the one in between that I didn't see yeah, yeah. on the other patch. So he's going to have a lot, a lot of food there. 
Okay, will he be able to defend from this? Remember, Bulgarians do not get um, crossbowmen. But I think going archers right now would make a lot of sense. He has been housed quite a few times. It makes sense in a messy game that that would happen. He was going to break through these houses. Mm -hmm. When running faced up against us with Tato, he didn't get the walls down in time. He won't make that mistake here in the final. No. And I think the... Well, he also didn't have Loom, which was a huge deal, right? For those yeah. towers killing the villagers so early and the archers getting value there too. Look at the food count though for running. Look at the food count. And remember, he is Italian's. So he can go up faster. He's also on stone here with all his weak fills at the back. So he can maybe make some defensive towers if he needs them. And he's got still so much food available in that hunt on both sides. So running is actually not in a bad position. I like the way that he's managed this. Even after losing hey, the position in the middle. The only thing that gets awkward now, because I agree with you, perfect defense. But it's so perfect that Yo might go to the outside with this army. Maybe. Right? He might loop around with an archer and then suddenly the villagers <laughs> yeah, are exposed. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think at, by the time it gets there, though, you're already on the way to Castle Age and thinking about... Yeah, that's true. And then you can sense it, too. Like, if he sees these archers go into the tower, he probably stays out there. If he sees the archers loop around, then maybe he retreats home. And the archers haven't started looping around yet. Running is still looking for hunting opportunities, even having a villager going all the way to the top. You think about a sneak now at the back of Yo's base? He's going I, he for his wall stone it. walls on the left I side. Think he's, yeah, I think he's going to wall that. That's perfect. Oh my god! And he walls at the very edge of uh, edge edge of edge. that. <laughs> at the very edge of the hunting patch is where he will wall to the edge hey, of bro, the earth. Are you are you edge? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like some some term a middle schooler would come up with. Yeah, that's very edge, bro. Dude, I'm so edge right now. <laughs> <laughs> Enging so hard. Well, the walls are are being edged on both sides, and they yep. should complete. That's amazing. That's crazy. Now, the dude. only thing that's awkward is he doesn't have fletching. His tower does cannot range Yo's tower. So Yo's towers are actually perfectly placed to shoot down these towers, and he's got archers inside. Fantastic. So he needs to get to Castle Age, like, right now. I'm surprised he hasn't clicked up yet. Get oh, in. he needed the blacksmith. Oh, no. Look at how much food he has. Oh, my God. Click up. There, there he goes. Is. Now, do you do you stay on stone here and go for a defensive castle? I feel like that wouldn't be the worst option in the world with Italians. Secure um, the I middle. Think you're, yeah. I think you might need... I, I think you might just need more towers or just repairs in general. So I think you just keep it on there and just kind of see... Go with the flow, I guess. Um, speaking of, those stone miners are all super weak. My God. Dude. Hopefully they don't like swing that axe into each other. This is going to feel so bad for Yo when he loops around with these men at arms and runs into stone walls on either yeah. side. Yep. He's probably like clicking over there and the men and at arms are trying passing. to go through the yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what just like... happened because it just closed. Yeah, and he's like, what? Stupid AoE 2, what is happening? Let's see if he retasks it to the outside. That He should be experienced enough to know. Mm -hmm. But also he needed the man at arms here anyways, I think, to be able to continue yeah. this pressure. So. And he's forcing out another tower there from running. You've got one villager of HP on five on the stone. <laughs> 40 HP out of 200, potentially. Yeah, Siege Workshop opening is a must, but I can't help but think back to what happened with Valis against Yo. There's more towers this time, and now he's drops the tower there. He didn't prep any walls either. He's giving no. up so he much He needs a wall space. on the other side of that market. Yeah, he's going for some yeah. houses there. I mean, this should still be good, I guess. Yo is, oh, Yo is about to click up the castle age, and he's still on stone, so maybe Krepo's danger mm -hmm. coming in shortly as he goes for another tower. Yo keeps pressuring. He'll see running as in castle age, and running immediately goes for that siege workshop. It's just like, this is one of those weird games where I don't have a definitive answer on what each player should do. Yeah. They, you just kind of have to play it by ear, right? Like, running has done a good job getting himself in this position. Decent food eco, has the walls on the side. But Yo has also done a good job to pressure in to running space and force him to invest into more towers, more defense. I spent like a month on this map concept and usually there was no hunt on the outside. So what would happen is the pressure in the middle was too strong mm -hmm. because players would have to relocate their farms. Running was one of the players that tested the map. 
and like this is just so perfect. I'm like I'm I'm nerding out over this right now. It's exactly what you want to see. Yo and goes out both to the players. hunt now on the right side. He's gonna run into walls. Yeah. This is awesome. Again, if he were to click behind those walls, they would probably path through the middle. Look at, that Look at the stable, stable from Yo. <laughs> I know. I he's, he's gonna trying to he's hide. He's gonna it. trap his knight in there in the little forest. If I know how Age of Empires works, that thing's gonna if get he, trapped. If he doesn't set a gather point, definitely. Okay, he needs to save his vills, so he's using the man at arms to distract. It will be long swords in 20 seconds. Yo's point of view, he just saw the stone wall. His villagers. Yep. Siege tower, baby. Like, uh, okay. Honestly, wouldn't be a bad idea to go siege workshop there with a knight or two. But it is obviously a lot of wood to spend if you need siege in the middle, too. And Let's there's the siege the workshop. Is. Siege workshop, and then... Can he Crepost? Yeah, he's got, a, he's got enough stone for Crepost. He's heading over on the other side now with four different villagers to try and get to the hunt. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine how much this game changes, though, if he didn't lose that one scout in mm -hmm. the Dark Age scout yep. war? And I said I it. Got... Like, I, I said it earlier. Like, you should yeah. engage with that. You should explore the outside edge, but... Obviously, it was really sloppy, and it did yeah. lead to him getting an additional vil kill, but... Okay, this is funny. Running's gonna work on the tower on the right, which gives time for the Krepos to be built on the left. And I don't think that Krepos can be stopped. I think running is going to need to run more and find that gold on the outer ring. Yeah. Okay. Tower gets taken out. Let's see where the light cab pop out. Okay. The light cab or garrison inside the building. If he sets a waypoint, he should be safe. Yo is going for a monastery over on the left side too. He's going to grab that relic and then maybe think about a siege workshop or maybe a Krepos over there too. As he goes yeah. for a market. I thought he already had a market. I guess not. Krepos does notify your opponent that it's happening and gives them more time to wall. But honestly, I think at that time, at least we're seeing it on the right, like running can actually add TCs now. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is it feels easier for Yo to pick a side and push than it does for running to ever push the middle. Like the middle can only be pushed in Imperial Age, I guess. It can never be pushed in the castle age. Okay, so the monks are over here. There's two light cab inside and three long swords coming. Oh, great attack round from running. Oh my god, filthy. Well, now he might have nothing to convert. <laughs> he, he gets does. one. That's enough. That's enough. He gets one light cab, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Good defense. He won't, probably won't be able to take out the stable though, Dave. And he's still got to think, will he want to drop a castle? Because his TC is actually being taken out here. Yeah. I think you need a castle here. If you still have Maginals alive, you're going to need a castle. He's going to kill his own light cab, unfortunately. And Yo goes for that crep post over on the left side wall. And a TC eventually. Good micro from running, though. Still focusing very much on the middle. And maybe now you consider dropping the castle. This one light cab could ruin his day, but I think just one light cab won't be enough. Another TC there from running at the back. That's a good TC to place. You Ooh. don't want to be too close to that pressure. Running almost saved that Mangonel, dude. It was a split second reaction, but Yo had the advantage because he popped out. He knew when he was going to show up. And he took out the Mangonel from running. And well, if running it needs to go for a castle, it's going to have to be really defensive. And that one is a safe castle. He's going to give mm -hmm. up that TC. And, and get out of here with these lumberjacks to too. Yeah. Get, get out of here. Don't leave villagers for the taking. So Yo sees that with his light cap, so he knows about that. He's on three TCs at the moment, Dave. Mm -hmm. But running is going to be on two. I say that only because his other TC is going to go down to the crep post. But it does seem like Yo is is thriving more in the chaos right now. Yep. Running's Imperial Age is cheaper, so if he wants to go for Trebs or whatever to push this back, yep. it's a little bit more attainable. He's uh -oh. going to have some food issues, though, because he hasn't set up the farms like Yo has. And as yeah, soon as yeah. he runs out of this hunt, he's going to have to go onto berries, which is slow. Uh -oh, and he's going to be kicked off on the left side. That's right. Yikes. Another crap post over there. And what is running food eco looking like? Nothing. Absolutely nothing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the outside food was awesome. But I, I think what you need is you need the castle age. And then you need mm -hmm. to be able to push the middle. And Yo did such a great job at holding that those fortifications there. Yo just lets the TC go up, but running will see there's a Krepos there, which means it's useless. And now the light cab on the monks. It's going to be one down, and then he deletes it. Smart play. 
running, just running all over the place, looking for answers. And 11 on food now, as he shifts some more villagers to the berries on the right side, but that is all food e income that's going to run out pretty quickly here. Yo just has a much more stable food economy. Look at the farms for him. He's got 26 farms here. It's such a great job from him. Yeah. And I think it was the farms in Dark Age, honestly, that were also a big thing here. Um, the hunt was a great idea from running, but the lack of all farming has been his main concern. The eng potentially near for running. <laughs> the eng. <laughs> uh, it's not going to take Yo long to pressure the right as well. I love this. He has the middle. He takes the left. A lot of people are like, let's go for the kill in the middle. Let's go for the kill on the left. But yep. Yo's like, no. Nope. I have an advantage. So I'm going to make sure I shift over to the other side now. This is so good. And you're, you're basically putting out fires constantly if you're running, and you're never able really to, to do anything well, because... Welcome to play prep for against side. Yo. That's yep. like his mantra, right? You're just putting out fires the entire time. Like, look at the stone count for running, and look at what he's pulled over to the south. He's got... Like, he was going to make a siege workshop there. He has siege. He has Genoese. He wants to drop a castle. And then he got the attack signal, so now he has to make a siege workshop on and the right. you're in a position now where you're almost thinking about selling that stone to buy your way up to him if you're yep. running. And that's not good because you need some food eco. You need some food eco. Yo is economically not in a position where you can beat him with just a fast Imperial push with no food eco here. Yeah. He has four TCs. He is spread out now. He's kind of stretched his legs, and he's uh, he's ready to go. What's up with Yo and having three Bulgarian archers left over? <laughs> He's got three more. Where are now, they? they don't have 23 villager kills like they did in that game versus uh, Valis, but... That's Castle an AI the, army comp as Castle well. Castle on the right for running. Okay, kind of needs that. But he still has to be concerned about the stuff on the left. Here comes the Iconics. And that the Conic gets bad. converted. The other Conic gets taken out. The Mangonel dies, but... Running still is the Genoese Expo there, and Yo needs to retreat, but still, Yo is pushing through towards okay, the castle so you, from running on the right. So Yo has two decisions on where he builds his castle, and then I think he'll prioritize Imperial Age. Yep. He doesn't know about the one on the right. I think you go I'm in sure the middle. I'm sure he'll find out about it soon. Well, actually, the uh, middle is kind of... Maybe delete the Siege Workshop and make the castle there in the middle. Yeah, I mean, it would feel natural to do that if he doesn't know about the one on the right. He does but not. he might feel like there's more eco behind the one on the there's right. The and yeah, castle. then instant yeah. castle. Just perfect. Might have even been waiting. And then both players are using the market to go up to him. But Yo's got a massive lead here. And man, is he good with the Bulgarians. Like He, he makes the Bulgarians look like they're top five Civ. Yep. I wish I could play this way with the Bulgarians because I really like the Civ. I just, I just struggle so much. It's just a sieve that's like, it's so good if you put early pressure, keep pressure on your opponent, and macro well behind. Yep. And that's just everything that Yo does well, right? Mm -hmm. So it plays towards all of his strengths. So we see the castle going up there finally. Redemption coming in. So running did not go up to Imperial Age with those resources. He went for redemption first. Hmm. I think he's concerned that it could be an all-in siege push on the left. But dude, again, just even if you look at their point of views, I look at running's point of view and look at all these three areas we're talking about, and it just looks so scary. Yeah, there's <laughs> he Krepos, never knows what's gonna happen. Units, castle over there, you can see now. Crepos in yep. the middle. It just feels like there's nowhere that you can push out towards. And mm -hmm. then you look at Yo's point of view, and he's perfectly comfortable. Even if one he of these sides all. fall, even if the middle falls or the right falls or the left falls, you have two other areas that you can pressure from. It's really, really good. He's dictating the game completely right now. And just like he did against Valis, he's going to open with uh, Skirmishers and Light Calf. And this is what's so cool about the Bulgarians is their trash options are really solid, especially after their unique techs. Uh, and then you can put a lot of that food income into upgrades because the upgrades are discounted. They also research faster. So Researching what faster is huge. This tech switch happens instantly. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah, also, I think saving food on something like Siege Ram is just so undervalued. Mm -hmm. Not not by Yo, but by the majority of players, that is something that's undervalued in these situations. 
Genoese Expo, finally. Have some range upgrades, and there's the armor coming in. There's ballistics coming in right now. Yo will get to the Imperial Age. Running is still a minute and a half away. He's going to give it a good try here, and it's not 100% over for him. Like, he still has options mm -hmm. as he goes for another castle in a good spot in the south. He's got the triple castle stack, but he's also got three areas that he needs to pay attention to. I know, and, and you know what's going to happen. Yo's going to pressure one side, yeah, running, running will react, deal with it. and then yeah. Yo's going to go to another side. Yeah, and then... Like, he'll switch back and forth between the two sides, and then he'll suddenly remind running that the middle is also an option. <laughs> yeah, with, that, with that siege workshop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's going to wait till siege ramp. Yeah, yeah. It's just so good. Yeah, there's going to be a castle for Yo. Uh, this might be a slight issue for him on the left because he doesn't actually have any trebs yet. And running could make trebs with his own castle. But Runnings has no resistance on the right side. He's got to get his Genoese over there now. This middle area and is he doesn't be know about the curves. Such a pain for him too. This middle area because yep. he's going to be fully focused, and Yo is still queuing up Rams there, and they're going to be siege ram. And suddenly you're just going to have three siege rams knocking away at that castle at the monasteries, and you're you have no army to defend. You have literally no units there except one lonely Genoese expo. Here they come. Yeah, here come the siege rams. Yep. He's adding a Meganel, so he noticed the possibility. So he'll have that behind his castle, which is the that's proper good. move here. Yeah, that's good. Running is doing every single thing he can do from here. He's not making any mistakes right now. He didn't repair but that Yo castle is... on the right. Didn't waste stone on that. Beautiful. Yeah. Go for one further back. Yo has simply outplayed him to get to this point. And Yo in these positions normally doesn't make many mistakes. He will have all of his blacksmith upgrades in in 15 seconds. Also has stirrups coming in, so his uh, cavalry will attack 33% faster. And there goes running, trying to hold. And he's also running, going for light calf, because he knows he needs a counter for skirms. The problem is more so he's so far behind on those upgrades. No, he's gonna running is gonna convert the siege rams or try to. No, the crepos! No, the crepos killed the two monks. killed the monk. Full oh. upgrades on that, and the and the Magnol just isn't enough to kill these siege rams. The castle's gonna go down. Running is sending forward what five villagers. That's not enough to that repair that. Mm. Bye bye castle. Meanwhile, on the other side, Yo has the treb set up to hit the defensive castle. That he's running got all three placed. castles being attacked right now. Yep. All three. He's got and another it's all treb over here. Too. Oh my goodness! Wow, this is and sick. And here comes Hassar. He's literally, literally teched into all of his options already. Yep. Yeah running who had an amazing event beat some amazing players and i'm sure we'll still be very pleased with his performances uh he taps out he says the gg well played to yo and yo deserves it yeah um, that's crazy you don't look at yo and you don't consider him to be uh an arena player you don't consider him to be a player who necessarily thrives on maps that have walls but he's a strategic guy man and i feel like that is what these many of these maps brought uh to the table mm -hmm. there's an amazing map pool where you're constantly having to think what civilization will I go for? What position will I push? Where can I relocate? And Yo's the master at that. He wins uh, Walhalla. What yep. a sick event. If you're talking meta, give me Hera or Leary. If you're talking big situations, big tournaments, give me Viper. If you're talking messy Viper, chaos, yeah. chaos, what the hell do I make? Units everywhere, mini map flashing on all sides, give me Yo. Any day. Yep. <laughs> Give me Yo, and that's uh, that's what happens on these maps, right? It just gets interesting, and Yo's a, Yo's a god. Great yeah, job. remember, I mean, we, we talked about it as well, right? Um, it, clear, without a doubt, Yo is number two, right? It is like there was this, this period in time where everyone was saying, who's the best in the world? Who's the best at this? I'm sure there's going to be plenty of those conversations in Heidelberg, Germany. We talk about a uh, Red Bull event, which is, of course, Empire Wars, so that's a bit different. Mm -hmm. But still, like, Yo is just consistently winning events like this, having deep runs even if he doesn't win. Um, and he's just a lovely player to watch. I'm so happy that a player like him, like, he doesn't take a lot of breaks, which some people do, and rightly so. But it's like any event you got... You always have Yo. A size, a, a, yeah, a and decent strategic map pool, he's going to be there. And he's like, usually going to go the whole way. The best thing about Yo is he either wins the tournament or he goes out like a buster. Like, early yeah. on, you know, gets someone, so it's uh it's great but yeah congrats to running as well making his way through doubt making his way through ganji making his way through tato 
on the way here. Also, big shout out to Vallis with some huge results against Jordan and ACCM. Truly a tournament of upsets. And uh, congrats to John Slow for the event. Make sure you guys go follow his channel. Link is in mine. Um, and he hosts events all the time. And they're really entertaining. So this was this was awesome. Like yeah. I like this was great. Um, I I liked Masters of Socotra, Masters of Arena. All that stuff's good. But this map pool was truly something special. So a hats off to him. Also, the Nineville start was perfect. Yep. This was about three hours. If it wasn't a Nineville start, uh, especially with the Ville fighting that happened in this game, <laughs> <laughs> we never would have. Today would have taken like five hours. So <laughs> yeah. That was great, dude. That was awesome. Well, I enjoyed it. Um, congratulations to you once again, and thanks for casting with me. I hope you get your Twitter account back at some point in the near future. Did I? Did you see what the what the hacker told me? Yeah, yeah, I did. But like, like today? Yeah. Oh, today? No, I saw it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so last night he's like trying to get me to buy it, and I was just trying to stall. And so he sold it off, which is why my Twitter account's being spammed with stuff. Don't don't click it, guys. Unfortunately hacked anyways he goes yeah i sold it he goes don't worry just put in a support ticket they'll handle it in a couple days see ya he's very polite he, he, yeah he got his money <laughs> he got his money and he's like yeah i sold it off to you someone else like, he's like you almost kind of respect the grind you know <laughs> it's like that this is purely professional <laughs> yeah like he i even asked him like how he got the information he's like yeah i just bought a bunch of intel twitter's got this security issue blah 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 he was like talk to me about it so I mean, I don't respect the grind, no, but also I'm really, I'm not quite as upset about it after, you know, so. <laughs> He's a professional, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's just business. Yeah. <laughs> don't take.